uh, you don't see any snow um, that would be attached to the 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 wall, so you we really can't figure it out. Alright. How long is it downward down this cliff? Twenty feet or forty feet. Forty feet down? Yeah. To the so, water uh, or to the caravan? To the caravan. So forty eight damage. Alright, um Jeez. I'm gonna guess they had to just thinking out loud that they had to um possibly go down there. There's no way everybody could just disappear. So, um, is the snow gone from the ground or no? Uh, no, the, the snow's still there. It's just it's just night, so it's, um... Harder to see? Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to check if there is any tracks because I have low-light vision. Yeah, of course. It, well, I, I, I spe specifically said no light, so you could use your low-light okay. vision. So I'm just going to check if there's, like, any human prints. Sure, sounds great. Or a uh, non goblin, non wolves. Yeah, sure. So, uh, perception? Um, I'll say perception, yes. And this would be aided by your knowledge of animals and footprints being a ranger. Jeez. Uh, seven. Rolls. And that, that was perception? Yeah. Um, you look on the ground and um, you can see that there are about four footprints really heavily shoved in there. Um, you assume it was some sort of small, fat creature wearing a lot of armor. Uh, but there was probably two of them. Wow, okay. And what is... That's the campfire, right? That's campfire. Alright. So I go back to the the rider. He, he looks to you and says, uh, where are these people you need to rescue him? I said, I can't tell you. It looks like a fight broke out here, but... They must have left. I don't know why they would travel at night, though. He kind of gives out a sign and says, That's too bad. I was looking forward to being a hero. He said, Well, they still might be in trouble because it looks like uh, there's a set of footprints that I don't recognize. Uh, he, he kind of looks at the moon and he gives out a yawn and says, uh, You're going to be okay out here. I, I got to get ready for the road tomorrow. I said, Yeah, sure. Thank you he, for uh, doing this. He says, No problem. And um, I'm just going to do a roll for him. No. Uh, he kind of gives you a nod and says good luck as he rides off in the distance. Okay. So, do, 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 do. I'm going to go back to the path that we were originally traveling before we cool. got detoured and followed the tracks. So you're just going to go up the path? Yeah. Okay, cool. That sounds great. Um, so yeah, and that'll be... That'll be you. I'm just going to put you back to there. And now we're going to go to the other guys. Okay. Wait, why am I going that far away? You guys are clearly still in 33. Okay. You guys have followed uh, a series of warg of wolf and goblin tracks to get to this point. Uh, the wolf and goblin tra tracks were leading the opposite direction, um, and so you assume that uh, that it rain it snowed very recently. So you're assuming that they have uh, left the tower, um, a, a patrol or something has left the tower. Um, you can see in front of you, right here. Uh, you can see the walls of the tower. Um, so yeah, you see the walls of the tower. Uh, you can clearly see some uh, broken um, the, ta the tower walls, or the outer walls have been broken. Uh, but you also see that there's a gate here, or a bridge to enter it. Uh, you can clearly see that there down below is a uh, there's a pit. Um, it appears to be uh, surrounding the whole place, or rather, it's not a pit. It's more like this. It's on a a plateau, an individual plateau. Um, so it was built very. Uh, very wisely. Uh, it's about 40 feet to get down to down here. Uh, what would you guys like to do? Uh, what do we see down there? Is it like uh, ice? Uh, you guys are a little bit too far away, but you assume that there would be it would just be snow. You look down, you can actually see some tracks, so some tracks in there too, uh, but they seem uh, snowed over.
<clears throat> okay, so uh, we can't find any tracks so far. Um, as I can see that. Can we see that the bridge over here is broken? Uh, you can clearly see that there's a bridge there, yes. Uh, in addition, you see that there appears to be something on top of it, which looks like a cart. Um, so we, is this the, uh, the old, uh... Yes, this is, this, uh, Ru um, Vic points out that it is most certainly, uh, the architecture that the, uh, the masks Zen are known for, for building. Um, okay, cool. So, I guess, if you want, we can, uh, go up to the bridge, inspect the, uh, pile of stuff. And then uh, sounds maybe, pretty good. Let's maybe, get a little closer. Maybe try and kind of like uh, disguise ourselves as a. I'm gonna go ahead and say or, it's it's probably about um, it's probably about probably about noon at this time. So it's it's the middle of the day. All right. So. And note you you're okay? and note you're you're coming here if you don't remember to uh, try to find a goblin as this is a goblin base. Right. Any of you, any of you guys speak goblin? Uh, no. Um, um, I took up goblin actually. Oh. Oh. Um, Vic, do you wanna try and uh, try to do like a disguise and oh us anyway, and then try to uh, see if we can trick them into letting us inside without having to fight anyone or sneak in, hopefully. If I had some disguise. Think, uh, Hide you well, guys not this guy's, but like, but like, you know, uh, uh, pose as merchants of whatever that thing is. Actually, let's let's go on that. Let's go closer and see what's uh, what's all about. Okay, you move closer. <clears throat> we move over here. Actually, um, I kind of as I as I go past, you know, the cliff here, I sort of haphazardly look. Over, um, the heck is this? Is that snowman? Uh, yes, you can see several tracks down there. It appears that some sort of creature has made the snowman. Uh, yeah. you can see the nose, uh, appears to be made of some sort of shiny metal. Uh, you assume it to be a dagger. That's interesting. Oh. It's, yeah. you know, but it's 40 feet now. down. Yeah, about 40 feet down. Oh, Norian's asking what color's the metal. What color's the metal? Uh, metal. Um, it appears to be like a, uh, um, like a like a dark gray. You're okay. assuming you're assuming iron. All right. So, uh, we get closer. Um, can we see what what the pile of stuff is on under there? Um, yeah. You you get to a back there and you can see um, you see two things. One, um. Ruben looks over here and he sees that somebody's. Uh, is, the cart's completely empty, but it is blocking the area. Uh, you see another thing, which is a banner right here. Um, you can see it has the skull fighters uh, insignia on it. And um, Ruben and Norian both kind of look to this wall here and notice that there are two slits in it, um, most likely for firing arrows out of. Mm, it doesn't look good. Um. Uh. Do you, do you think if we like roll around in the snow, we can get some of the snow stuck in our cloaks and hopefully camouflage us as we? I don't know. We can probably try that. Um, I was also noticing there's there used to be a bridge on the south side that's broken. It probably is, it it would probably work as a way down. Uh, oh yeah. Right what, the, okay. Can we can we see if it actually reaches down? Uh, you can see it reaches down at least about um, about thirty feet, but it would be about a ten feet drop after that. Uh, you won't take any damage. Um, you might trip and you stumble and look silly, but um, it means that getting back up might be might be difficult. Okay. Um, okay. I've got I've got a uh, rope actually. Did you wanna? Um, I'm assuming that the Norian's quite uh, the strong person so yeah. you can like he's probably good with that you, you uh, could, if, if you guys would like you can describe your characters a little more like your your physical attributes oh, sure. I'm a tall handsome guy no. 
Um, yeah, I'm particularly, I'm, I'm kind of the strong guy. Um, physically, it's a black hair, 185. Good muscles. Yeah. Good looking guy, yeah. Um, Looks humble. <laughs> yeah. But, um, okay, uh, Ruben, how about you? Uh, well, uh, I've got blonde hair. As as you can see on, on my character sheet, I kind of look like that. Well, like, you know, my physique is not buff, but not scrawny. Just, like, in the middle. Enough to be able to carry my weight, in, uh, my weight as well as the armor. Um, like, I don't look like a pushover. I'm probably a little bit more sturdy. But it doesn't look that way with all the, uh, you know, the robes, and the investments. So, um, yeah, I just like have uh, kind of just a little bit shorter than shoulder length hair, uh, blonde, and uh, uh, you can yeah, you can you exactly do? tell mm -hmm. the winter stuff. How about you, Vic? Well, my my character is. I seem to be about six foot. I'm tall. I wouldn't say built though. I'm kind of lanky. Like if we ever got in a situation where I had to do a push up to save my life and most likely die. Um, <laughs> but you know, I look, I'm not going to say I look menacing, but I don't look like a nice wizard. Like you wouldn't want to come up to me and try to start a conversation with me. You'd like to keep you, you would be wearing your skull mask right now. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not a very nice person in general. I look more. This goth. This tall skull. Yeah. Tall <laughs> has gone. Um, so, yeah, I, I suggest that, like, since Nor uh, Norgan uh, said something about climbing down, that might be a better idea, seeing it's, like, a lot stealthier. I've got rope, I tell him, if you want to climb to the, the, the bottom. Yeah, throw the, in uh, my input. Of the bridge. And then. Could I'd like, actually, before we head to the bridge, I'd like to check over here. See if it's also dangerous. Okay, uh, you look there and you can see most certainly that there are slits right there and right there. Um, as well as you can see two more right here and right here. Mm, okay. Um, okay. Uh, you you say it was 40 feet down, right? Yes, 40 feet down. Or 48 damage. Well, um, we can try to go prone and pre uh, and try to hide or use a rope that you're usually 50 feet and try to climb down. I can hold it, but... Well, I'm not very strong. I mean, one of you would have to lower me down because oh, like, I'd probably not make I wouldn't... It. Yeah, I'd, I'd tell you to tie it to the... Like, maybe one of the posts here. Well, I'm thinking there has to because be Because it's 50 entrance. feet, so it doesn't... I'm thinking there has to be an entrance down there, considering there's a snowman. I mean, Goblin probably came in through a crack at the bottom of the keep tower or something. Because mm -hmm. I don't know who would, you know, yeah. climb down <laughs> yeah. to make a snowman and then climb back up. <laughs> so we either could go in through the main gate or somewhere through the bottom. Yeah, I, I like, yeah. sort of like thinking back, I don't think we could have pulled off the whole merchant thing, having, you know, Vic, the skull mask dude. <laughs> Yeah, it um, looks like a total goblin. Um, I don't know where, where we could tie the rope, though. Yeah. Uh, I, I assume these posts are pretty sturdy. It's a 50-foot rope, so, I mean, there's like 10 feet of slack. Yeah, they probably are. Like, the problem are these. If they are actually going to shoot at us, uh, we really had to hide to get there or do it before getting okay. either. This Vic, I I asked here. Vic has any spells like that could possibly distract um those things are blocking maybe like prestid digitation and make some fog i could throw up some fog no, uh, do you have the fog spell i have predestation i mean i can make it a doesn't make gimmick. it doesn't yeah it only it only goes by 10 feet uh, yeah i really uh, maybe you can um, you can use it to light a little fire, right? Fire yeah, like tends to attract more attention than deter. 
Yeah, 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 it's more like a little fire with the snow makes some sort of smoke or something. But yeah. But yeah. Steam maybe. Um if okay, is I was thinking is it, it'll be hard to even get past those those things there. Um I don't know, does anybody have like you think he can kind of like commando crawl the way down this See if we can kind of stay as low as possible and not okay, be noticed. Um, is there any okay, I get over here and I try to look at you know still and see if there's anywhere where I can actually tie a rope securely to go down. Oh, uh, this right here around here? Uh-huh. Um you don't see any. Okay, I um I come over here to about about okay. here and I look at this post, see if it's you know sturdy, like if, how long it is to see how um, deep it, it, it you, you can see it's pretty it's pretty long and it's fairly deep. But you can also see a kind of um you see a kind of uh, uh sway in the wind. I tell the party the the post that they have the little banner it seems like they could hold someone light but if we were to send down Ruben looking how he's I mean Norian looking how he's big it might you know snap yeah, Ruben's also yeah. wearing some pretty heavy armor so oh. yeah uh, and the problem remains even if we, we try to cross over there they're probably gonna shoot us from here you know we're trying to climb down so that we don't get shot basically Unless, I mean, unless somebody holds, like, stays, goes here, holds the I rope. I could hold rope, but... It's just the, okay. the matter of you being able to climb down, that's all. I can try to climb, yes. Um, okay, well, let's try that. I can use, I, I think I have you rope. Can, you, can, you can tie it here. If we can somehow, um, like, what I can do is I can... I can have like a, a flame and set fire to this and so like hopefully if they uh what do they call that put all their attention to that you might be able to quickly tie the rope onto the post and sort of repel down that, that, that's try. assuming that you, you are able to physically do it as well. Um, yeah, I can try. Either way, you... Uh, I, I can try to get you both down first with rope over here. Yeah. I, yeah. I'd say you can pick first because he's, he's more... Uh, he, he's lighter, I guess, than... Uh, I'd I'd be willing to go down there, but we got to keep in mind that if you know something goes down, I get jumped while you guys are up here. I'm be in some trouble. That's true. Mm -hmm. Um, cool. well, there's only two ways we can get into the. Well, yeah, there's only two ways you could go down here, but there's always that risk of getting shot by arrows. Um, or go through the uh. The main entrance, quote unquote. Um, yeah, if, if if you get Vic down, obviously this part here isn't as heavily uh, guarded. Since we can stand here and talk and, and not mm. get seen yet, um, we'll probably be able to have time to have Vic go down, and then hopefully me. Go down as well. And then, um, I, I guess at that point, more in, you can uh, kind um, of uh, try to get this thing, get that plan happening. Uh, John, how tall is the uh, tower here? Um, it is long enough. It's tall enough. Um, it would be that one would be about well, like 30, 40 feet high. Uh, some, some sweet stone. Okay. <laughs> um, 
Uh, I got another idea. If go ahead. If we can, if we can get Vic to climb down, um, grab the the blade that's on the snowman's nose. Um, obviously tied to the rope. Throw you. So uh, you could put that and use the uh, the the blade as an anchor. Hopefully, like dig it down on the ground and have us climb down. Wait, let me ask you one more question. What time of the day did you say it was? Noon. Noon. Uh, I look at the party and I say, aren't goblins known to sleep most of the time during the day? Well, is that is that true? I, I, I thought it was only... You can give me a intelligence nature check if you'd like to know. Intelligence nature check? What, what modifier would I have to add that? Just my intelligence? Intelligence. If we have nature, you can. Right. Can I? Can can we make that roll too? Yeah. Oh. Oof, well. Might be unnecessary though. With, with Vic and his so much knowledge, you smart guy. <laughs> um, Vic, Vic looks at you and he kind of shrugs and says, "Well, they're they're a military organization at this point, if they have their own base. So um, so most likely they would have people awake at all times. At least someone awake." But um, but he he's not sure if they would be how how many since they yeah, if they're if they were underground it wouldn't matter but up here um it could be out of the way. Okay, uh, another suggestion, Norian. How how far can you throw something? You could chuck something over these walls. Uh, uh, it depends uh, on the item. Hmm? Would you mean between those little holes or like? I'm sorry. What? What kind of item would you want to throw? Which I one mean, throw? anything he could hold in his hand, like literally a ball or maybe just a, p a wrist bracer, is anything that you could just launch over there. Um, I think I, I'd say with a good enough strength check, he, he might be able to make it. Because can, we, I, can he just like pick a rock or something? Yeah, because I can make a distraction. I could put light on a rock. Or you know a decent sized object that you could chuck over the wall, and it'll create a twenty foot radius of light that'll most likely catch their attention. Mhm. Mm uh, but would wouldn't that have like a roof ceiling or something? Or um, no. This this appears to be an outside um outside okay. outside uh, defense of the wall of the tower. The tower itself appears to be uh, this structure right here. Nah. Uh, okay. Well, we could give that a try. I can try and uh, throw it over there and just maybe make a run over here, tie the rope, and get down. Um, how well can I see into the uh, the little slits over here if I stand where I am now? Uh, how well can you see into them? Uh, give me a perception check. Um, okay. Is that a, that's a wisdom? wisdom. No. Uh, no. Um, Giving you guys the, uh, the uh, I guess the outlay of the tower, you can kind of come in. You can see, you can see little tiny bits of it. And you can see what it looks like. Okay. Um, sorry, just double checking on them. Yeah, that's okay. S three. Sweet. Uh, you nope. you look through and you can't really you can't see any movement or anything. <laughs> okay, can I give it a try? Are you casual? Can I just go over his shoulder and start looking through? <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Oh. Uh, you, 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 you basically do the same thing and you come up with the exact same um, thought that you don't see any movement beyond it. Oh, the cliff climbing up to the actual keep area, it's just as tall as the one that we're on right now, right? Yeah, 40 feet? Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're even. Hmm. Yeah. I say. I say we give that one a go. Give that plan where I like. We we use the blade as an anchor, or yeah, like I I say at uh yeah at the, these I'm just gonna say these posts do appear to be anchorable. Yeah, this is this, this is this is durable. This yeah. is durable. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I guess this is the only thing that scares me. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can we can just try to go into the to the floor, cover ourselves a little with snow, and just 
head over here and save. Mm. Um, I'd say Norian try and try and save that rock. Yeah. Um, over here somewhere. Try and um, what? At least try try uh try and just throw throw the rock over here. Uh, at, sure. at least if we hear some shuffling, we might be able to. Uh, do I see any rocks in your body that I can throw? Oh yeah, you find one. Okay, I'll give it a go and try to throw it over here. Okay, uh, why don't you take out your ruler and point where you threw it. Uh, let me see how to do that. Uh, over here, you see? Uh, over here you say, um... Roughly? Yeah, oh, or actually, you can throw, if you throw it at the door or, or the bridge, it might still make enough noise. If you stand here, maybe. Uh, throw it like. Uh, throw it. Yeah. Okay. Um. And then if you kind of, I don't know, like if you run. Uh, what, what is the uh, door made of? Uh, door appears to be made of out of uh, re wood reinforced by iron. iron. Wow. Okay. I throw it, uh, I throw a stone against the um, door, trying to point towards the iron to make a little more noise, maybe. Cool. Uh, you throw it. Um, yeah, I'd say you can make that pretty easily. You're, you're a strong guy. You have accuracy. Uh, you throw it, and it um it hits the wall. And it falls down the onto the bridge, and um, you kind of wait there and try to listen and hear, but you don't. Nothing happens. Nothing mm. happens, okay. Alright guys, it's done. Nothing happened. I didn't see anything. Um, I'd say uh, I hold the rope, you two go down, I try to make a run for it here, or maybe a little hiding run or something, and try to climb down. I don't think we have if, many more if options. No, if no one actually uh, like noticed or anything, if you didn't hear any shuffling, we could tie it here and climb down this way. Tie it where? Uh, the big bridge. Tie it mm -hmm. at the big bridge and climb down that way. Um, how hard would it be to take one of those uh, banners out of the snow? Um, it would probably be pretty easy. Pretty easy. Yeah. All right. Uh. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna say these these walls these do appear climbable these uh, walls here or not the tower walls but the, the cliff walls they do appear climbable. I suggest to the party I say I could get the uh, the banner that's by the bridge with my mage hand without having to cross through the little. Uh, uh, it would wait too much. Wait too much. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I say we give those banners a try. I feel like they might be a little flimsy, but they could hold us. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I'd say any any idea right now is good. Let's do yeah. it. <laughs> cool. Uh, cool. Yeah. I'll be uh, looking out. Continue on. I'm trying to jump too far. Alright, All right. are we gonna want to go, you know, on the outside a little like this? Just to try to. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if the distance between uh, 55 feet and 30 feet are going to be that big. I mean, white plain area. <laughs> Alright. Are we sufficiently <laughs> covered in snow or do we still look like... like... Uh, I'd I, I allow you guys to have covered yourself in snow, just note that um, it would I not be super helpful. I suggest one of us goes, maybe prone. Um... <laughs> uh, I can do it. I still think it might be a better idea to not go through here, just in case, because we didn't hear anything, but there might still be someone. I can hold the rope, let you both go down, maybe climb down over here. Alright. Alright, screw it, let's do it. We're running out of options, right, cool. really. Yeah, go Vic. Okay. Okay. You first. Let's go over here, maybe, which is where we know nothing happened. Alright, so that's um, what we're going to do. Okay, yeah. I help, gonna... I help Norian hold the rope as well, for now. So at least fix sure to, to, uh, to come down. Okay, uh, so uh, Norian, you're holding onto the rope, and Ruben 
and when Vic are going down? Yeah. Yeah. What, well, Vic, one at a Vic time. is going down first, cool. and then I'm I'm helping. Uh, I'm helping um, Norian. Norian, uh, nah, Norian's too strong. Uh, you get Vic and Ruben down easily. All right. Yeah, they they basically okay. just hold on oh. to the rope while um while you lower them down. I get Vic to um to run and inspect the. Uh, I I tell oh dude, don't forget the uh to get the dagger or whatever the heck that it is. All right. Uh, I'm over here. Cool. And you, I. You see in front of you there's a snowman. Uh, it appears to be that you couldn't see it from the before. Before, uh, you don't have to keep your character like that if you can. Um, you, you can see that it appears actually to be in the has some features of a goblin. Huh. Snow goblin. Snow goblin. Yeah, but it's still obviously some. It's still obviously a, a snowman crafted by something. All right, so I just uh take the dagger or metal like object out of Frosty the Annihilator's nose. I just take it for myself. Cool. Uh, you take it out and um, as you do the, the snowman kind of just collapses down. And uh, you have in your hand a little um, dagger and you look on your body and you see it actually matches the dagger you have on you. It appears to be a, um, a mask of Zen dagger. Whoa. Oh, that's some pretty cool stuff. So I like them over here. I told Ruben it's a it's a mask of Zen dagger. It's probably been around here for a long time. Uh, what do you want to do with it? Oh, I say if you got in any spots in your in your inventory, I say keep it for now. It might it might seem important. I mean, unless Norian can use it as an anchor. I I said if you want, you, you can. Uh, he can stab it into the ground as deep as he can, and then um, have him be able to climb down a lot easier rather than try and traverse the cliff face by his bare hands. Mm. I don't know if a dagger in the ground is gonna do much, though. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. I just I, um, attempt to climb down. Alright. Cool. Uh, give me a athletics check. Athletics. Uh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting at the bottom with like my hands out. Like, oh, that's a great idea. idea. Right, I got. I got you. <laughs> oh God. Okay, I next. have. Let me check. That's with the uh, dexterity, right? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I look, Vic just like walks <laughs> backwards slowly. I'm not breaking my neck. Oh. I have advantage by the way, so. Oh, uh, why your advantage? I got, it's one of the uh, skills I got. But with What's... the uh, soldier, I think. Or... I don't think you get advantage, I think you just have proficiency. I have? Oh, crap. Wait, yeah, you're right. Sorry, let me roll again. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll let you roll once more. And it would be your strength plus your proficiency. Yeah, that's uh, 1d20 plus 4 in that case. Um... Still good. Uh, a strength yeah. or, or dex? Strength. Okay, plus five. Yeah, I was thinking two. Seems well. Oh, it's true. Yeah, but don't I add the uh, strength? Yeah, you do. Do you do? Go for it. Give okay. your roll. Thirteen. Um. Yeah, with your it's uh, it's a bit of a rough uh, rough way down. You get to about ten feet and you you slip and you just kind of push yourself off. Um, but you, you land like a boss with a little foof <laughs> and kind of snow just kind of flies up as you do, as, the, as your weight hits the ground. Oh, you find Rick and Ruben at the bottom <laughs> with a collapsed I snowman. <laughs> I help Norian <laughs> up and goes, uh, you okay? I'm doing good, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, looks like we're, we're down here now. Let's go look for the, uh... The entrance mm -hmm. to this thing. Okay. Do I see uh, anything so on, on the walls does, over does, here? Would, would, uh, would you, would you, you can give me a perception it? check to, to give a good look. Uh, you see nothing at first glance. Okay. Uh, a search check would be to get your hands dirty, which would be intelligence. If you want to put your hands up and look for like a secret door or something, like maybe okay. like a switch. 
I was, uh, I was just I'll about to say that. Yeah. So it would be intelligence check. Uh, search. Yeah. Would, would Vic kind of like... With know his about knowledge this place. of, uh... Yeah. If he has search, then he has search. I have search. Uh, so what exactly would I roll search? Cause, what, yeah, know. what do you 20 plus uh, your intelligence modifier, which is 3, plus 2 if you have the search skill. Okay. Alright. Is that good? Twenty-four. Um. Yeah. You, you. You don't even look around. You just. You just kind of look at the other two and say there. There wouldn't be anything around here. There's a tower sand. We don't. We don't have secret uh, escape things, especially not in a place like this. It takes us back. Why the hell is there a snowman down here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe it's nothing <laughs> uh, close to where we are. Probably. Uh, around you, the back or something. You guys want anyone here uh, proficient with um. Insight? No. Um, hold on. I might. Yes, I am actually. I am. Oh, sick. Not... I, I got insight. No, you, you have skill? Okay, you can give me an insight check if you want to why someone would build the snowman down here. Watch somebody? Okay, cool. Um. So that's uh, plus insight to wisdom, is it? Sure. Wisdom plus my. Um, insight is not a perception. It, it's similar to perception. It's it's trying to figure out why, like, like trying to figure out reasons behind it, things. Is it? Um, seventeen's good. Uh, you look and you give like a bit of a smile, and uh, you imagine uh, a male and female goblin uh, coquettishly. <laughs> Building a snowman together, and then uh, and then he takes his dagger and shoves into the nose, and they laugh laughing run off. So cute. Um, we can't see any tracks, can we? Um, you see old tracks that have been snowed over. Okay, but there's mm -hmm. like, I still see that like a direction where they're going. Um, give, give me a survival check if you'd like to. If you have survival. Uh, a what? A survival check. Oh, survival? Shoot, I um, That's a wisdom? Um. Yeah, it's where wisdom and I yes, do it's, have it's a wisdom. Cool. Oh, okay. Cool. I, I asked, um, I asked Dorian, um, I can see some faint tracks. Can you? Can you track them? I can. Maybe. Okay. Oh, um, yes, you can! <laughs> no, it's not even higher. Ah, uh, yeah, you see them uh, go this direction, and then they kind of disappear out onto the cliff face. I was just about okay. to suggest uh, Noreen was strong enough to lower us down, so I don't doubt he's strong enough to pull us up. What if he climbs directly under these nooks, like a little bit like this, so he stays hidden close to the wall? And he has enough space right there to pull us up. Oh, that'd be good. I could, but taking into account the tracks are coming here and the snowman is still uh, down there, is there probably some sort of entrance here? Nothing? Yeah. Not I too mean, much. You, I, yeah, I'm, I think we should still try and find that entrance. If not, then that's the be next best option, I believe. Alright, yeah, then let's that's good. creep on forward. You guys get over the lair? What do you know? Yeah. What do you want to do? Uh, I guess we search for. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do a search for like a cave or something. I don't sure. know. Uh, you can use your old search for 21, and you you, oh. you say again. There's there's not gonna be anything around here. All right, I guess okay. we're, we're gonna have to climb. Okay. I guess I'm gonna climb up. <laughs> cool. Over here. Cool. Give me a row. Just row. double checking, we've still got the rope as well. Yeah. I'm assuming yeah, uh, you're giving it to Nora. I'm sorry, give you a what? I'm assuming you're giving rope to Nora if he doesn't already have it. Yeah. Cool. Well, I just. Yeah, I should have said that. Go for it. Okay. Um, let's go with the. Uh, assuming you get up there. Yep, just trying to check. Whoa, that's so nice. 
Oh, no one. Ah, uh, yeah, you you climb up there easily and quickly and quietly. Okay, I uh, hold the rope. It's a plus five, remember. Um, yep. So you uh, you oh, yeah. you um, once you get up there, you start to hear the sound of uh of wolves kind of tearing through something. You do see the slit right beside you. Oh, is it? Is it like it's a? Uh, it's a uh, what they call that? You can actually like peer into it. It's not yes. like really high. No, no, it's anything. it's it's very close. It's on the ground. Oh, okay. I see that. What is it? No. It's on the okay. Um, and which general? Uh, where do I think the sound is coming from exactly? Um, it's coming from above you, above the wall. Uh, I'm saying that because you can't exactly. Actually, you, know, you can hear it coming from between, between the slit. Okay. Uh, I'll bring the guys up first, and after that, I'm weird. Okay, cool. Um, so, uh, you bring Vic up, you move to there. Vic is to there. Then you move Ruben up. There, there, there. Cool, thank you. <clears throat> Okay, so I think it's uh, we should peer into those little holes and see what we see. Alright, so I peer into this little sliver right here. Hopefully uh, I don't get my eyes see shot. the following. I might be able to... to recognize something, <laughs> at least. I'm gonna go ahead and say I think... A I don't know, I see something brown on the floor, probably some sort of animal. And uh, just a bunch of other tables. Yeah, I definitely see some sort of uh, wolves or some sort of dogs through this crack. And a bunch of, I'm going to assume, tables, wooden little structures. I say we brush in there, see what's going on. Cool. Um. Wait, don't rush in there. I think those are feeding tanks. I think that's where they keep all the wargs. Uh, insight? Yeah, here. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I, I look at where Ruben, or whoever the heck I actually oh, yeah, get insight. Oh yeah, sure. Like, I say that. Like, I, I look through that as uh, well. You, you can also do a nature check if you like. On wargs, specifically. Or a history oh, check okay. on the relationship between goblins and wargs. I could do that. I'll go history too. 23? Nice. Um, with a 23, uh, you would know that the uh, wargs don't like to be caged, being uh, intelligent creatures. So, um, so they they would not work for anyone who caged them. Okay, so I look so, over and I say, I see uh, what appear to be tanks filled with water, you know, to hydrate the wargs. And considering that Wargs don't like to be caged. There's probably a bunch of loose wargs in there. Okay, um, I try to hear uh, to see how many there might be. Okay, um, yeah, you um, give me give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, you hear three distri- distinct growls. Okay, guys, I think there might be three of them. Three. Um, we might be able to take them on. I mean, I mean, we see this that appears to be a door, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Vic would see that and he would recognize it as the classic entrance to a tower of sound. So I say the entrance is right there. I mean, we could sneak, run for it, or fight them. We got a few choices. If, um, okay, if we go maybe like here here and like really carefully tread our path and not kick any stones um, we might be able to see sort of like what's beyond here or like peer around the corner um sounds good we could do that but we'd have to be careful because wards you know they have keen yeah. senses they'll probably spot us I, yeah i'm i'm wearing very noisy armor so i can't really do much <laughs> I'm wearing cloth. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn, Vic. Go. Go for it. Alright, so I'm gonna 
come up right here. I guess this could give me a little bit of more line of sight. Yeah, sure. Um, you'd probably move. You probably want to move up to there. So I'd say just give me a stealth check and move up to that. All right. Uh, if I'm not proficient in, in any way, I just rolled the d20. Yeah. Uh, plus your dexterity. Oh, okay. I think my dex is one. Yep, it is plus one. <laughs> Fifteen. Ah, uh, so you get up to there. You don't know if anyone really heard you or not, but you do see the following. There's literally no cover. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you look at the wargs and you can see them just in the middle of a feeding frenzy. Uh, yeah. With so, so far, you've only gotten positive. Or was it Ruben who got kept getting good rolls on wargs? No, you did recently. Um, you could probably assume that they're they're pretty heavily distracted right now. Yeah. But you um, also, with your basic perception, can see similar slits right there. Another slit. Um, I with the same check, I just kind of come over here and uh, whisper to the gang. I say, they seem to be eating. We could get the jump on them, hit them real hard right quick, or we could try to dodge through the slits around here and just go right in. Uh, the doors oh, closed, go, right? Go straight uh, in. The okay. doors do appear closed. Yeah, e even if we go all stealthy, the door is probably going to make a lot of noise. Um, do you know, uh, like, the thing is, right, it's so far away, this, this sort of, this mm -hmm. corner here, um, it's very hard to figure out, like, well, I'll figure out, it's very hard to, uh, to believe that we'll be able to, like, walk down there without being noticed, I guess, more noticed than usual. Well... We could lose the element of surprise and uh, get a sneak attack on these wolves. Do you, I, I, do you guys have any uh, bow and bows and arrows? I could I hit them with a fireball, which would do quite some damage. Um, well, you get fireball. Uh, I've got like, I've got a scorching ray. I've been meaning to try out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do have a bow and arrow as well. Cause it, cause like they don't know, and if you can, if you can shoot them while being stealth, um, you might be able to get like a killing shot, because you'd have you'd have so much time aiming, aiming for it. Well, uh, let me just add a game to the DM. If I were to stand here, I could cast my fireball and like do the whole preparation to hit them and try to get the, uh, I think it's a stun on them. Uh, you want to use burning hands? The fireball? I can't use that. It's fireball move? Yeah, it's a level 3 ev evocation move. Oh, I, you, you can't do level 3 stuff. I keep told you that. I thought it was pretty weird. <laughs> it's level, it's not your level. It's just, you yeah, the, the, it's it's yeah. the different power level. So it would be like level two spells are super saiyan kind of thing, and then level three are uh, super saiyan oh, two. Okay, all right, I understand you. That yeah. makes sense. That's okay. Um, oh, uh, they, you yeah, probably have like sound or something. What's up, I've got like, I've got like flaming sphere. I can cast it like here, like at the like on the dead. Um, whatever it is, elk, deer, and so like as they're eating, it's just like bam, all of flame, in their face. <laughs> Could be. Um, uh, John, I do have a question. If I shoot with the uh, bow and arrow, would you take an extra action to change it to my swords, or can I do that? Um, you could do it as part of your movement. Okay. That would allow it. Well I'd say if if Norian can um, at least get rid of one wolf, I can do the fireball, oh, the the ball of fire, and at least damage them significantly. I mean enough anyway that they'll be a uh, they'll be pretty hurt and 
would be able to manage. Nope, uh, the spell like that would probably make a lot of sound, a lot of noise. Sorry. Oh, would make a lot of noise. So that too. Fifteen. They've already cast a cone. Fifteen range. It hit these two, right? Probably. Okay. Um, I say yeah. That's what we do. We get to jump on them. I could do a burning hands, and I could do quite some damage if it lands. Cool. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I mean, I've got I've got quite a long range in my flaming sphere, so um, I can stand where Vic is. I can stand like sort of here, I guess. Okay, so I guess this is where uh, I discovered this combat system. I could get the Burning Hands and cast it as a second level spell to get it to do an extra 1d6. That's actually nice. Yeah. Okay. And uh, with the assassination and sniping thing, I would be uh -huh. able to charge it up and if it hits, it'd be a critical. Essentially. Alright, then uh, shit, that's what we're going to do. Assuming it hits them, and they will get, they will each get a chance to try to jump out of the way. Yeah, they have to do a dexterity yeah, saving exactly. throw. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna cast it on. Oh, sorry. Can we can we get Norian? Yeah, can we get Norian to shoot the arrow first? So at least, because I feel like that's probably gonna be a more damage. Gonna... Yeah. I mean, well, it... you know, it's a sure. Like, I feel like it might be a sure kill if he's the the, the arrow shot. Yeah. Okay, so you think a 1d6 plus 3 arrow is going to do more damage than 4d6. Yeah. Oh, right. Well, no, okay, sorry. Then yeah. uh, and I'm it's, my it's 8, by the way, but yeah. No, no. I'm, I'm just making sure you you, 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 you want to take a, a bone arrow over a fire spell. Yeah, so, you want to trade the fire spell, and I get it. That's cool. I didn't, I didn't know. It, I didn't know it was that much damage. My yeah, well, bad. he's pumping up to level two too, so that's that's partially okay. why I get to do so much. So, are you gonna try to do that? Yeah, oh, that's no. what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the burning hands for the hit roll. I roll a d20 plus my intelligence. Um, no, you, you do nothing. Uh, you you tell me what your intelligence is, and I'm assuming you take out your wand to do this, which would increase the DC. It would essentially be your intelligence. Uh, plus eight plus your proficiency. That would be the DC they have to be. So it'd be about um eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But about thirteen. Okay. Okay. So these guys are gonna do that. Um, so you kind of charge it up. Uh, you see one of these bulls kind of look up. He kind of looks back a little bit. Um, and you kind of worry as he does so. But uh, you see him just lick his lips and just with a big smirk on his face and goes back to eating. <laughs> But up, so you cast a fireball, I assume. Yep. Boom, boom. Boom. Okay, um, so you see a massive uh, flame just erupts over here. And uh, you see one kind of, the one that kind of the, turns and slips, looks back again. And you see him jump forward, uh, throwing this, the body of the thing, over top of him for cover. Okay. Um, so, uh, let's roll a 1d20, this, roll me 1d20 to see what your stock would be. What was that? Uh, we use oh. stunt dice. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll show it to you. Yeah, so 7. So you could use Mighty Blow. I was just using Mighty Blow. You could add another 1d4. From your weapon. Another 1d4 or d6? d6, sorry. Alright, so it would be 5d6? Essentially. Alright. Okay, uh, so, yeah, r r roll, 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 uh, 46 and then roll 96. I just want to, it'd be 24 damage as maximum. Oh, wow. And I roll another 1d6, right? Yeah. So, 12, okay. So each one gets hit with, what, um, 12, no, at least these two get hit with, uh, yeah, a massive flame shoots out of your hand, of your wand. Uh, these two... Sorry, incinerate instantly. Mm -hmm. um, however, the third one jumps over. Um, yeah, he's still incinerated, even with the cover. Oh. Um, I'm just gonna roll to see if anyone saw that. 
Okay, Anything cool. like in the area that was, I guess, non-living, I guess, uh, caught fire, by the way, that's the description of the spell. Sure, sure. Uh, the, the whole area right here, you can see there's now uh, dry stone earth underneath it. I turn around and say, guys, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Whoa, that's cool. Nice. Good job. And then I kind of like hesitate to give him a high five just to see if his hands are still burning. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Oh. Hands. Um, cool. So I guess we, I mean, we make our way towards this part. I, cool. I sort of, um, well, there's a little like, uh, cut right there. Say, slit. Yeah. yeah slit. Oh, I, I say go over here and then sort of, um, go like, you know, go along the wall this way and have a look inside. Cool. Uh, do you want to do that in any fashion? Like uh, running very or... sneakily still. Like... Cool. Uh, you guys give me a team stealth roll if you like. Team stealth roll. Uh, note that all you gotta be is about... If 50% if of you at least can be there, you'll, you'll be good. One bad roll wouldn't spoil the catch. Oh, okay. Stealth is... was that charisma? No, dexterity? Dexterity. And that's a minute. And bubble. You guys try to still fear. Uh, do you have armor that gives disadvantage? Yes. Then roll again. <laughs> and I'm assuming Vic and Norian are going with you, so you, should, you guys should roll too. Nope. Mm -hmm. okay. So you get a nine. <clears throat> this is clink, a sneak, correct? Yeah, this, this is for sneaking. Whoa. And Nori, you want to roll one more time? Let's see if you get a critical <laughs> one. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys get two right over here. Okay. Um. I see. Oh. Uh, let's look through the. Uh, the thing just sort of, but very cautiously. I say. Let's look through here. See what we can find. The corner? The hole. Or the hole? The hole. Oh shit. Right. I mean, I guess, like, I'd, I'd look in the keyhole as well. Alright, so I go uh, with my 17, I just go over there and I peek through the slit and hope to god I don't lose an eye. Okay, uh, so Vic's looking through the slit. Um. And now, uh, Ruben, what, Ruben, what are you doing? Oh, um, I'm looking, uh, at the, uh, the keyhole. Is there a keyhole in the door? Uh, there's a keyhole, yeah. Uh, you look through um, it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say you see the Fallen. And uh, Vic through, looks through his, and he sees a tiny goblin eye looking back at him. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> okay, so we both look at each other. Yeah, we both look at each other. Um, he kind of blinks, and then you hear a rah! And he, you, you see it go away. But it wasn't like a raw, like, raw, it was like a whoa! Uh, and then you, then you hear something collapsing, and okay. it sounds sounds like sounds like some like a pile of junk falling. Shit. Burning oh. hands through the wall, through can the I hole. Cast, can I cast on him real quick? Um, you sure can. If oh, you yeah. want to just put, put point you put your wand through the little hole and cast something. Yeah. But um, you can't. It's currently difficult to see him, but you can just blast away and hope you kill everything. Well, I wasn't hoping to kill him actually. Oh, what do you want to do? I was going to give him a suggestion. No, oh, sweet. Alright. Uh, uh, let's go. So I roll my intelligence on this. Um, for suggestion? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I, I don't think I don't think it'd be a roll. I think it'd be him um trying to uh, get rid of it. Um, quarter three. Uh, what exactly are you trying? Uh, what would you, would you do it in a goblin language or in common? No, in the goblin language. Cool, cool. Um, so what do you suggest? I suggest he calms down and just you know, sits somewhere in a corner and just chills. <laughs> awesome. Um, so uh, you kind of you kind of before. reach into your um, you kind of reach into your little uh, bag of fragrance and you pull out a little snake's tongue and mm. uh, you you kind of uh, tap it as you and then tap it with your wand and then you kind of point at him. And, uh, let's see, there's some saving throw. 
cool. Um, you you, you hear back and gob you hear back and goblin nice. through the little slit. Okay, and you you hear you hear more junk kind of uh kind of falling over as you hear the little pluck up pluck up as him walking away. Thank God. Uh, you look th you look through the hole and um you can see there's a bunch of junk on the ground things like that. Okay. Um, I I reiterate to Norian. Um. There's, uh, basically two goblins playing cards. Uh, like, in this hallway. There's two doors on either side, and blah blah blah, as you can see. Um, what do you think we should do? Should we just, like... Well, the thing is, like, can I... Can... Does anybody know how, like, whether a door is locked or not, just by looking at the keyhole or whatever? Mm. Uh, you you can quietly try to like push the handle to see if it'll. If it'll one minute it. file break. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna like look at the hinge, uh, the hinges on the sides of the door to see if it's a push or pull, just in case. <laughs> um. You can see that it would be a pull. Pull. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. I'd say pull on it just like a tiny bit. If it creaks, then just like stop. I'd actually okay. say let's look in the middle to see if it's uh, like um, barred or something. Cool. Oh, right. Yeah, good. Well, there you go. Two heads are better than one. <laughs> you uh, look through the center and uh, you don't see anything in between them except for one tiny little thing that's right in between the, uh, the handles. Uh, okay, uh, like little some little. sort of lock or something. Um, it, it it looks more like the thing that goes away when you twist the handle. Oh, okay. Oh, the thing that keeps them. No. Um. Okay. Well, I say you said there was two gu uh, guards playing cards. What if we just? I, I never said there were guards. Ruben never said that. I I said oh, goblins. I just said Ruben oh. can, maybe they have said there were guards, but I didn't say there were guards. I okay, well, they're just goblins. They're, yeah, just two goblins. Although they do appear to be carrying weapons and are armored. So I say, what if we give the building a quick loop around? We do know now, though, that there are goblins positioned at the slits. Cool. Well, that seems to be a smart idea. If okay. Lauren can kind of... I don't know. If, if you guys can, like, look around here. Can, yeah, just I'd actually like, like to come over here and see if there's anything else we can look. Yeah, I could, uh, you, you, do you want to do it in any fashion, like stealthily or? Yeah, still yeah. stealthily. Yeah, I sure. Um, in, uh, just since there's a slit here. There might be one here too. Sure, Although I'm just I'm just gonna give you the whole thing and assume that you'll do, and you do your your check, and I'll tell you if anything terrible happens. Because I'm assuming you, you 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 wouldn't know if you were caught or not, so I might as well give you the reward and then tell you if horrible. Horrible things happen. Oh, I think he's good. Okay. Uh, as far as you know, you're very sneaky. And you get around the tower. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks right, like that. Uh, you, you see slits um, here, 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 here. And also here and here. I uh, only saw one. Uh, just look around. You, you can see Okay. Um, I'm okay. So, so, what do you guys want to do? Um, I think it'd be a good idea to look onto those slates and see what else we see. Uh, so far, we know there are two goblins, uh, actually in the middle room, uh, one at least on the right one that's quietly sitting in the corner, and uh, <laughs> we don't know what else we might see. We, we might see, so uh, it'd be a good idea to check, see if we can handle it. Okay, cool. Um, come over here and you look through uh, this one, and um, it's actually pretty dark. You don't see anything, but you do hear what appears to be snoring. Um, you look through this one, and you can see um, you see about three goblins just covered in blood, um, just kind of walking around. Uh, you can't exactly see what they're doing, and uh, you look through this one, and you see um, you see there's actually two goblins uh, rummaging through junk. Okay, so there should be at least eight goblins total. Are these these 
the like these ones here are they connected into the one room? Uh they appear to be yes. Oh, okay. uh, and it's not possible to sneak in through these slits. Uh, these slits. Um, no, it, is, it would be way yeah. too small. It would have to be like a fairy. I thought so. Um, we need a druid. <laughs> um. Ah. Uh. Um, okay. Uh, well, do we, do we just kind of, like, storm the keep, so to speak, for now, or do we... Well, I uh, say, uh, these two towers here, I mean, we should probably check them out before we go into the main building, just in case we get in a fight, we don't want to get hit from behind. No homo. True. Okay. True. Yeah, let's cool. check those towers out. Or we could simply just block them off with dead work bodies. <laughs> yeah, that would be good too. I mean, seems like well, but except like if anybody looks through here, they can see oh. dead work like right there blocking the door. Alright, so what's plan? Um, cool. So, hmm. Is there a plan? Is there any way to look into these two um, over here? And besides, it's least going outside on the doors. Uh, yeah. Oh, you over here? There two doors over there, yeah. Let me show you here. Um, uh, you definitely see a slit lit, so it's there and slits there. You see another door right there. So, what type of check would I have to use to, to see if goblins are, I wouldn't say afraid, but are bothered by light? Um, You know, yeah, I'll, I'll just give this to you because you guys have been doing good rolls. Um, so far, and this is with your lore, Victor's mm -hmm. lore abilities, he would know this stuff. Um, you know that uh, goblins are not not like orcs, where they're they're blinded by bright light, or they have disadvantage from it. Um, but these guys would be able to see well in the dark and well in normal light. They they've, they've adapted well to both underground and and overworld. So okay, just... um, what we can do is probably uh, knock onto this door over here, wait until the two guys that are already, uh, the two goblins in the main room, or in the first room, come out, and then we just ready in action and kick their asses. Wait, as I look over as possible. <laughs> I say, Ruben, you said they were playing a game of some sort? Yeah, I said they looked like cards. Okay. The keyhole, would it be wide enough for me to fit my wand and cast a spell. No. No, I didn't think so. Fuck. I say if yeah, we could if... crack the door open, I could uh, suggest one of them to cheat. Um, and, uh... You do not have suggested anymore. You only had two um, level three, so you have two castings of level two spells. And you cast them. So you're, you're, all, on, you're all on level one. Two. Yeah, you're right. Suggest is level two. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, never mind, well, I guess we have to storm the keep. If you want, if Norin, if if, uh, if we're going through with Norin's idea, um, him and I could be on each side. So since the, the door kind of opens out this way, we'll be covered by the door. So if any of the goblins try to come through... Do you guys um, clock them? Yeah, we'll clock them. I've got, I mean, I've got a flippin' mace, so... <laughs> Like, I don't know. <laughs> it seems like it seems like a good idea. <laughs> uh, how so, um, wide are the doors? How wide are the doors? Um, the, these doors appear to be uh, ten feet total, but five feet each. Okay. Okay. I'd, so or, or maybe, or maybe he comes out like, if he comes out to here, we close the door <laughs> and bash his head. <laughs> or, 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 yeah, but what if they open the door enough so that the door would crush us? Not literally, but you know, at least to stomp us or something. They know there's someone behind the door, or something anyway. So these doors open out. Just, uh, move back one. <laughs> <laughs> but then we can feed them if they come out. Um... At le oh, I think at least one of these. They're, they're not going to be opening both doors. One of these doors is going to open. 
Uh, what, yeah. <clears throat> what if you guys hide behind the doors and I open them and in Goblin, I trick them to come outside and then you both whack them across the head simultaneously? Um, I say, uh, I, I kind of like double check and look in the keyhole again. And I say, I think one of them has a, like a bow. So. Yeah, but I'm yeah, saying I open it. It doesn't mean they both will come out. It probably just be one. So. Yeah, yeah. I say, uh, I open the door, I yell something in Goblin, like, your wargs, they seem to be in trouble or help or something, and I cross the corner, and I assume they'll follow. Yeah, but if you yell, maybe someone else will also hear. Yeah, oh, may yeah, maybe if you just, yeah, if you just hide behind here and yell it. Um, maybe I can go, I'm just showing, maybe I can go, like, back here, and uh, ready an action with a bow, and try to shoot the archer or whoever's... Uh, Staying behind, and um, you, Ruben, can hit the other one when he comes out. Okay, let's try that. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, so what are you guys doing okay. exactly? So if Vic, if Vic like shouts in Goblin, is like, looks like your wargs, like you know, are in trouble or they don't look too good. That'll yeah, give like, yeah, that'll probably surprise uh, them or uh, confuse them enough that uh. Uh, I, I don't think you need to shout for that. If if you shout something, maybe someone else will hear. You, you probably just want to knock the door or something. They're going to yeah, come anyway. I mean, I won't shout. I'll knock on the door, and I guess they'll be oh, able okay. to hear me. And I'll just say, the wargs, they're in trouble. I'll save them, Goblin. Go on, and okay. right. wait for them to come up. All right, let's try that. So, uh, okay. Zach, why do I come over here? Uh, I, I ready my mace, by the way. I'm just, like, sort of, like, got it up in the air. Um, so you guys, you guys are getting this sweet plan together. And, uh, meanwhile, back at the farm. <laughs> okay. Which is nice. John's expression he likes to use for suck and bad segue between places. <clears throat> Several hours earlier, you guys see Ragnar and, uh, and Dedrick. Dedrick's piling up um, the bodies of goblins as he's kind of rifling through their pockets trying to find anything he can. Uh, you see Ragnar has crafted some sort of flame. Uh, of them. Ragnar. Yes? Oh, Ragnar's gone in BRB. I just got done. Yeah. No, I sorry, no. Oh, no, Sha. You think we should get a move on? Ragnar? Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk, sorry. <laughs> Can you repeat the question? Sorry, uh, I just had to go away from it. <laughs> oh, we should probably move on and help the people down there. It's a uh, long yeah. shot, but I, I, I think we could still help them without the rope. Uh, I do have rope in my uh, inventory, you know. The rope that I stole from the goblins. Oh, right. I mean, technically we wouldn't need, well, no, we still need the rope. I was thinking I could just feather fall my way down there, help them get down there, and the barrels on the water, they're floating perfectly fine, so we can still help them. Well, yeah, but uh, there's no path to get back up to the cliff. Well, we're going to have to follow the river. Or we uh, it, it appears to be a, a more stagnant pool. Yeah. So it doesn't flow anyway. Uh, it, it, it's 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 um, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's more like a, like a basin than a. It's not flowing anywhere. Oh. Yeah. You you I'm assume it to be there. like a lake. Still say rope would be a good idea. <laughs> I mean, we could use the rope, but we'd have to toss it down there, and we both had to pull. Or we can tie it to something. That works too, but what do we tie it to? Um, hmm. how heavy are those wards? Um, relatively. <laughs> Would they be enough counterweight to allow us to climb up and down the rope? Uh, counterweight sounds like you, you'd need some sort of pulley system. No, yeah, no, I mean, like, basically pile the two bodies on top of each other or into a group and then tie the rope to the body itself so the weight of the body would prevent mm -hmm. us from falling. If you think that's a good idea, then I say go for it. 
<laughs> the uh, smells kind of slippery. I, I wouldn't risk it. Hmm. So, are you just gonna go feather fall down there? Yeah, I could feather. Well, I could use some rope to keep. Well, let me think. I'm pretty sure I would be able to. Uh, what's it called? Make sure the you and fall because I'm I'm strong. I think I'm strong enough to make sure you don't fall down the rope. He is fairly strong. Actually, um, do you have any spells left, actually, um, Dedrick? Because you haven't uh, rested for a while. I've only used one, so I'm okay. assuming I have one more. Cool, cool. All right, I am back. Spells. So, uh, what are you guys' plans? Uh, quick question. Bards have two or three spells a day. Um, Bard should have uh, one plus half level. Um, Okay, so that would be three. That'd be two. All right, two. Okay. Yeah, yeah you so, yeah, have to have... round down. Yeah, you round down. Yeah. Okay, so then I uh, will have one spell left over. All right, here's what I'll do. Um, what were in the crates again? The barrels. Um, this guy claims that they are weapons, or uh, right. tools for mining, sure. which okay. essentially are weapons. Anything is a weapon. Yeah. Killed the guy with chapstick yesterday. And For how example, heavy... the limb mace that we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how heavy are the the crates? The crates? Um, they didn't say. Well, right. considering the size of those, uh, I'd say pretty heavy. You think you could, if you toss me a rope down there, and I tie it immediately? Well, actually, no. We could toss the rope down there. And save as much of the content as we can, and then I could go down there, get them into the water safely, and then we can just swim to shore. Okay. Okay. You, you hear him start yelling up. Are you Are you there still? Yeah, we're here. We're yeah. just discussing how to save you. The cold. Discuss- hey, does one of you know the most discreet way to hide a body? Ah, <laughs> uh, settle. That was a joke. Oh. <laughs> ha ha. Okay. I, I, I look up to the, uh, the Mithril Masked Man and I look at him. I uh, yell at him and I go, We're going to tie a rope. I mean, toss a rope to you. We need you to tie one of these ropes. Not one of these ropes. Oh, wait, how much rope do we have? 50 feet. He, he says, sure, I'll, I'll tie it to my daughter, no problem. No, no, no. Tie it to one of your... Um, <laughs> <laughs> your daughter. Tie it to one of your barrels or boxes, whatever. We're gonna try to save some of your stuff. What? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm gonna yeah. come down there and help you up, but I need you to tie it up. That way we can pull it up. Let's save my daughter first. We should do that, okay? We should try and save the daughter first. And that would be but totally I... selfish. Ah, yeah, but I, I can only go down. Which means I'd have to go down and then pick well, both no, of them. We can, uh, what's it called? They can either hold onto the rope to and us pull it up, or we can make a little uh, loop so she can put her feet in it and drag her up. Could we do that up against the mountain? Um, definitely. Uh, that having a wall and a rope makes climbing significantly easier. But so... it's a sudden. A drop cliff, right? Or is it slow? Um, it's it's not a sudden sudden drop, but it's it's incredibly steep. Okay, yeah, that that should be good enough for her to. Oh, so we can use the rope. Yeah. Okay. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to use a rope. <laughs> <laughs> like I was worried that it, the the rope might break and we might accidentally kill them. So. Well, it's either accidentally killing them or leaving them to starve to death. I'm pretty sure the accidentally way would be better. I okay. heard that. I know, it's another joke. Don't worry. <laughs> it's jokes. We joke around here. Okay, tie the rope to your daughter. Okay, uh, who's laying down the rope? I will lay put down the rope. Okay. Um, so you get to here, and you take out this kind of gnarled rope that's loose at a lot of points. Um, and you And you throw it down to him. 
uh, you see the man kind of uh, kind of tied around his daughter's waist, okay. and uh, he they're like, "Okay, we're ready to go." I pull her up. Okay, uh, give me a strength check. Okay. Roll the twenty. Ah, no. Uh, plus two. Oh god. Sweet. Oh my god. Well, wait, yeah. Ded Dedrick, can't you help me pull her up as well? Yeah, couldn't I help him? Uh, the the that strength. Your your strength. Right now, what's your um athletics total? What's your uh, athletics? Uh, that is dexterity. That's another plus two. No, I mean, it's not dexterity. I'm asking, do you have athletics? Oh, no, 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 I don't. Are you a oh, soldier? Crap. Uh, well, yes. Then you have athletics. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's your, so, your, so total plus your strength would be plus four? Yeah. Okay, so you, uh, you'd you be able to do it no problem. The oh, question you. was when I rolled a five and the rope starts to bend and swing, how you'd react. So as, uh, so as you start to raise her up, uh, we see it start to snap. Dedra kind of yells in excitement as uh, the rope kind of flies and swings this way. Oh, and uh, you kind of maneuver over there in order to help her. In order to help her. And she's screaming, and this man's screaming. And uh, with your critical one, it's just you can see the rope stretching further and further down to get through at this point. Uh, what do you do? You have 30 seconds to react. The rope is swaying. Uh, how far away is she? Uh, how far away is she? Uh, she's now below this point. Oh, okay. um, Yeah. I tried to stabilize the rope and move it toward Dedrick so he can hopefully catch her. Actually, this would be, yeah, you'd, you'd probably be higher than that point. Because you did pull her up a bit. Um, so you, you want to try, how, how would you catch her? Like kind of, you know how if the in some movies the rope is starting to break so they sway it the other way to the other person so they can catch them, that kind of thing. Um, I think the issue is it would be about oh, twenty feet. I... It would be a twenty feet swing. It would be quite the feat. If you want to give me a strength roll to try that, feel free. But note that if you fail, she's going flying. Yeah. Can um, I help? Oh, sorry, can I no? use mage hand to help lessen the uh, the weight uh, a little bit? Time's up. What's your plan, Ragnar? Okay, let Bedrick finish a sentence first. Uh, nope. Okay, so I just try and get her to a safe landing spot where she would not get hurt. Um, so you're... This girl. So you're... Okay, sure, give, give me a roll. Give me a strength roll, or athletics. See, we told you to bring this stuff up first. <laughs> oh, thank goodness! Ah, uh, yep, yeah, you, you give her a good swing, and she flies over, over here. Uh, she's about... 10 feet off from Dedrick, he still tries to catch her, fails, and she lands in this here tree. Uh, she stumbles a bunch, eventually her clothes gets caught in it. Um, the rope is about 20 feet now. It's still a, she's still attached to the rope, right? Um, she's holding on to one end, yeah. I mean, holding on to it, not attached. <laughs> no. the, rope, the, the, the rope is essentially what saved her, it kind of got twisted in the tree. And, yeah. um, okay. slowed her down enough to grab on. She's a pinata. Come on, Dedrick, why didn't you catch her? I tried, I can't reach that far. <laughs> I'm very tight. I, I, for a second, I was hoping Dedrick was just gonna jump and slow fall when he caught her. That would have been I really dramatic. Was, that was my idea, but I was like, no. And then so plunge into yeah. the icy depths. Uh, how entangled is she? Um, she could untangle herself if she took some time. Okay. Hold on, she has that rope. Would she be able to throw that rope up to Dedrick, since it's twenty feet? Um, it's not twenty. She it's not twenty feet. It's twenty feet, but she couldn't throw it that high. Throwing rope is difficult. Well, if she, uh, what if she puts like a small weight at the end of it, like a twig Ooh. or something, so he catches Actually, it? Uh, she's also a little girl and not strong. I could <laughs> capture. I mean, not capture. I could catch the rope in midair using magic. You that could mage hand those twenty-five feet. Twenty-five feet. Yeah, yeah that is looking twenty-five feet. Yeah, I'd reach it then. Okay, so you want to use Mage Hand to grab the end of the rope? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, uh, then can I throw the rope down to her, so then we could basically combine the two ropes, so it would be, like, two rope instead of one? Sounds good. Sounds like a good Thereby it would be stronger? Yeah. 
I'll, I'll say definitely. Um, okay. You, just, you get over here, you throw the rope, she catches it. Um, Dedrick, she throws the rope back to you, it falls short, Dedrick catches it with his mage hand, brings it up, and now you're both holding onto a piece of the rope, and she is attached at the waist with one, and holding onto the other with her arms. Her okay. tiny little girl arms. Okay, uh, that is problematic. Could you use your magic, uh, mage hand stuff to tie the rope from that distance, or no? No. I'm assuming we're... Yeah. Especially now with one hand. It would be very difficult to require a good deck sight, I'd say. Okay. What do you think, Dedrick? What sh how shall we proceed? Since if she lets go of one of the ropes, she would go flying the other way, probably face first into the mountain. Oh, I thought she tossed both ropes back at us. Yeah, you, you do have both ropes. Hand. Each one of these holding onto one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but she's holding onto one of them as well. So if she lets go of that one... Because if we're side by side, it's... Uh, you know what? Never mind. Wait, wait, we're side by side. I'm holding on to her. What are you holding on to? Other rope. That's also holding on to her. She, she, one's attached around her waist and the other she's holding. Yeah, if the one she's oh. holding, if, like if she lets loose of that one, she'll go swinging the other way since we're on two sides. Oh. So we both have her, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Um, hmm. We could try to reel her in as hard as we can so that way she doesn't sway too much. Okay. That makes sense. Shall we do that then? Give me some rolls. Nope. Don't get critical ones again. Uh, I just have one RP dice. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Fourteen's not enough. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys reel her in. Uh, she gets to the top and she she hugs Dedra. Oh. oh God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm very charismatic. So you guys saved her. Good job. Yes. <laughs> You don't know this okay. yet. Okay, I um, I go up to her and I just try to like calm her down and be like, "All right, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. You'll be fine. I'm gonna get your." Uh, She's more cold than anything. She she holds on to the um, she gets close to the fire. Okay, I uh, I start untying the rope that's tied to her wa her uh, waist. Cool, it's untied. Okay, go back okay, to Ragnar. Okay, now we can try and save the. Weapon, cargo, whatever. Yep, now the cargo. <laughs> he says that was that was exciting. He's like, all right, now for the cargo. We need your help on this one, so we can't reel you in just yet. But you have our word; we will save you. He says the the cargo doesn't really matter, and you see him um he you see him grab some sacks of stuff and attach it to his uh body. So that's just let's just get me out. It's like I think the cargo does matter because. We spent some conversation out of this, and if you don't want the cargo, we. Yeah. You see his jaw go agape. And he says, "Are you are you kidding me here?" As a paladin, I say my friend was just joking, and we will reel him in. Thank you. As a paladin of the Citrine Order, at that. Oh God. Okay, so what do you guys do? We reel him in. With. Okay, rope. fine. Uh, you you throw your, both rope. Okay, you throw both your rope, and it goes 20 feet down each, and the whole thing's 40 feet, so you guys kind of go, huh, that's not right. Oh, oh 40 feet down there, and... Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know how to tie. Have you ever been in Boy Scouts? Um... I've gone to war against the undead. If Good enough. <laughs> I need you to tie a rope. Okay, okay. I tie the rope. Uh, do you have good dexterity, Ray? I have plus two dexterity. Oh, no, this should be survival, actually. This wouldn't be dexterity. That's a silly thing to think. I mean, if you're doing it like one-handed, it might be. Um, so give me a survival check. Wait. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. You have good modifier. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, I I did a secret roll for you, um, because I I wouldn't let you know if you tie it well or not. So I'm gonna add your modifier to that secret roll. Okay. A one. So if you if you're if you're satisfied with your secret roll, you can keep it, or you can add like a a um an RP dice to it. Um, plus your wisdom, plus your um, survival. If do you have survival? Right I don't. 
Are you sure soldiers don't get survival? I don't know. I did not look at soldiers. <laughs> you, you didn't look at the background, <laughs> which was one of the things I told you to look at. Um, uh, note from true. now on that in addition to your military rank, you are skilled in athletics, intimidation, survival, mounts, vehicles, and, uh, and gaming sets. So, cards and dice. Of course, gaming sets. Okay, so <laughs> you get... That means you get plus two to your roll. Uh, okay, plus so your wisdom if you have it. Wisdom uh, once, is... Once again, your, your roll is not that natural one. It was what I rolled. Which okay. You well, it can't be worse, can it? <laughs> it might be. It might be like two ones in a row. You never say <laughs> that. It always gets worse when you say that. It always. Well, oh. it, at least it can't get any better. <laughs> it's like a trope. <laughs> okay, so you have a number. Do you want to go with that, or do you want to yeah, add sure. RP dice, or...? Uh, sure, I'll actually use my RP dice. Just because the one's kind of an omen. Yeah. But you might have got a 20 for Leo. Okay, fine, we'll go with yours. Again, it can't be worse than one. Yeah, no, we, we, I know we're going with mine. The question is, do you want to use an RP dice on my roll? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, give me, give me one d4. <laughs> And it's another one. Oh no, it's a three. Okay, cool. that's better. <laughs> <laughs> Even so, it's it's, it's not a. It's, you didn't get a one. You got a plus one. Which is still good. Yeah. Okay. And so you uh, tied it together. Um, you kind of looked at Ragnar and you kind of shrug and give it to him. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shall we throw down the rope? <laughs> All right. Talk to him this time. Okay, uh, you throw it down, you can see it's about five feet short, and you see him kind of look up with disdain, because uh, because tying it made it shorter. Um, you see him start having to jump to try to grab onto it. Um, eventually he does, and he starts um, he starts pulling himself up. He starts right. climbing up the wall, essentially. Okay. Yeah, uh, eventually he makes it, and he gets to right here. And you see him uh, get up there and he starts breathing heavily as <laughs> Okay. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> you you alright, sir? He says, uh, yeah, I'll be fine. Um, the, the daughter runs up and then attack hugs her. <laughs> you know, if you guys need an escort back to the to the inn, we could bring you along there. He says, no, no, we're, we're, we're heading up the mountain still. Oh, what was all that stuff you had down there? I uh, said that was that was stuff for the mountain. Uh, it was uh, supply mining supplies. Okay, you know the the reason I apologize for asking for this stuff, but um, we were gonna use some of that stuff in the future, and if you weren't gonna use it, he, you know, he says I'm, I'm, he says I'm, I'm gonna come back for that. I'm gonna, when we get to town, I'm gonna get some some dwarves down here with rope and a pulley system, and we're gonna get my cart and everything back up. Oh, could we come with you to town? He's like, yeah, <laughs> sure, of course. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, Ragnar? I agree. Yeah. He says, given you coming with me isn't much different than me coming with you, because my ride kind of looks down and says, it's kind of gone. Oh, all oh, that wasted meat. I mean, poor horse. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well... We should probably get going. Those warriors and those goblins we finished off. More than likely, there's more to them. So that's that's a good call. All right, this well, is... let's get a move on. Cool. Uh, it's at this time that you turn around and face the bushes, and you notice that there are two dwarves standing there, uh, hammers drawn. I speak to them in dwarvish. Okay. What do you say in dwarvish? Hello, uh, are you friendly? Oh, friend <laughs> you friends? don't. It 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 sound, when you say hello, it sounds like you're talking to an animal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hello, little guy. Uh, they say uh depends. Um, they kind of they kind of raise their weapons, like saying um like are you a friend of us, Citrine? Well, we were just try uh came to this accident and we helped the merchant and his daughter up the cliff. He kind of turns his head and says, "That's that's weird." How so? Well, you've been pushing people off the mountain all day. I don't see why you'd stop and help someone. 
I haven't pushed a person down the cliff. This what is Treen you? House, and he looks at your clothes you're wearing. Oh, so if I'm just wearing Citrine, I'm you classify with me all of those guys? Is that what you're saying? Huh? Wait, he, he says, well, you're wearing their uniform. How do you know I just didn't take this uniform? I We don't. Exactly. I assume. <laughs> okay, so you, apparently you're... Uh, you grave robbers. Interesting. <laughs> I, I go, Ragnar. Ragnar, what are they saying? They aren't really trustworthy. Exactly. <laughs> they don't trust us, or we, we or we They don't trust us. You, Ragnar hears this one yells, "Watch him!" as he moves towards the wharves. And this guy kind of steps closer to you. Okay. Oh, I go. Go I go to the man over here, and I'm, I tell the merchant, "Hey, tell him to back up these guys." Um, you, you you hear this one say, "Hey, guys, we, we don't want any trouble, okay? You know, it's, we're just we're just heading up a mountain." And uh, this one right here says, there's, "There's no point." As he takes out a knife, he starts ripping out ripping at the uh, the torso of it. And you see him start making select cuts and then putting them into a uh, into a bucket. He has on, he's on his, has on his waist. Hmm. So they are scavengers? They are whatever you think they are. <laughs> Just like they think I... I'm a grave robber. <laughs> okay. Can I? You can do it. Can I charm you want. Oh my god. Let me put my bard skills to use. Can I charm both of them? You want to use the charm spell? Yeah, boys. And you might lift the pad leg up. Okay. Um, you already used one spell, I believe, today, so you'd have one casting left. Ah, uh, worth it. Because I'm assuming we're gonna go back to town and rest. So. Which one do you want to? Charm person. Which one do you want to charm? Let's do it. Oh, right, right, right. I I'd suggest the other guy over there with the golden axe. He seems to be the one giving orders. That's true. All right. The guy right there, over there by the ward. Ward. Cool. Cool. Oh, there's wisdom. It's gonna be pretty wide. Yeah, pretty right. Cool. Um, you see him kind of sigh as um you look and you see this twinkle in his eye that's been caught from your spell. He says, "Maybe we got off on the wrong foot here." He says, "My name's Grievous. This is Grimax." He's saying that in Dorvers, so I wouldn't... Really no, he's saying that. in common. He changed it to common. Oh, okay. No. Oh, well, my name as, is... By the way, as you take out your flute and you kind of give it a foot, he starts talking in common because... because you did a spell. Oh, okay, okay. What were their names again? For... Uh, this man is claiming himself to be Grievous, and this one is he dedicated this man Grimax. Grimax. Okay. I go to them and I say... Oh, all right. It's understanding. My name's Dedrick, and uh, Ragnar. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hello, I am Ragnar. And he is not what you claim to be. He is a nice person. He, he says that's what all Citrine claim, but they just but they come in here and they shut down their borders and they don't even let us come out to uh, hunt. And he Again begins with the presumptions and grouping me with them. He says you're wearing their uniform. I can see the symbol around your chest. You're wearing leather armor. I could say you're a savage, but I don't stoop that low. Okay, we're not calling no. names. Um, <laughs> my, my friend here is trying to say is you, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, sir. De Dedrick, give me, a, give me a bardic knowledge check. Oh, heck yeah. Hells yeah. Bardic knowledge. What, what? Bardic knowledge plus charisma. Sure, why not? It should be intelligence. But whatever. Uh, Honestly, you, you're going to get a plus three to either one, so it really doesn't matter. Assuming that you've got a 16 intelligence. Back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can, you've, you've heard enough stories about the uh, Cord mercenaries to recognize when you, when you see them. And you can definitely see these are Cord mercenaries. Oh. So I go up to this um, go up to 
grievous. How exactly are you two doing down here? He says, you um, seem like travelers. He says, um, no, we, uh, we, me and uh, Grimax found a way past their, uh, past the, uh, past the posts that the Citrine have set up, the, um, the borders that they have set up around our town. And, uh, we came in out here to get food for the town. Oh. Well, it seems that you, your people need help. Is there anything we could do, possibly? We are looking for work. He kind of he kind of sighs and says, he looks at the, the Ragnar and says, you really not the Citrine? Sorry, what was that? He, he asks if you're really not with the Citrine. No, no, I'm not. I just found armor. He says, well, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're a dwarf, so, and you're, uh, you're dressed like him, so maybe you could actually convince them to stop being such dicks. But he says, um, come over here and, and give me a, give me a hand with the meat cutting. Okay, I do so. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so you guys, uh, you guys pack up some meat, and you put it into one of your backpacks. And, uh, or you put, you put it into these guys' backpacks, essentially. Okay. And, uh, they kind of gather up, and they're like, um, we're, we're heading back up the mountain. Or back up to the ascent. I, uh, I ask him, are you going to pass by a town? Um, up the mountain? he says, sorry, no town, no, no town till we get to the ascent. You're heading directly up there? He nods. So, you're from the top of the mountain? He nods. Mercenary group? He nods. <laughs> Kill him. Trying to help your family. What you say? You're you're trying to help your family. Uh he nods. Why are the Citrine blockading your town? Uh he says because they're idiots. Could you be a bit more specific? Are they just trying to get money out of you or He he says they they claim that there's some um that there's some great reason for them to be here. But all I know is they, they won't let any any people come in or out. Hmm. That is strange. It is. So, have you heard any rumors about the uh, missing people? Are you saying the is the the train responsible for this? He kind of um kind of turns his head and says, "Missing people." They, that uh, I I haven't heard of them kidnapping anyone. I just know they turn people away. Hmm. Hmm. Would you give us permission to go visit the the ascent? Uh, he he. You see him kind of um strap the backpack on. He says, "You don't need permission. You just need to find a way through." And we have. And they kind of laugh and say it was, and it was surprisingly easy. Wait, let us come with you. Um, they, they throw you a duffel bag full of meat and says and say, "Sure, but you're carrying some weight." Okay. Okay. Um, but. We have to make a stop to a town and drop off these people that we saved. Um, they say we're going to the ascent too. Oh, okay. Well, then we'll all go. Okay. Oh, oh wait, before we go, someone left back to the end to get us some bus, and he'll probably return here. Um, you went really, really low, man. I can't hear you. Oh, my bad. Okay, hello? Uh, it's it not pretty quiet. much better. Better? Yeah, it sounds like Ooh. they're like talking okay. really far away from the, the mic. That's weird. I'll put my mic right here. Is that good? It's good enough. Alright, so... I, um, I get out my writer's kit, and I start writing a note for, uh, Udo Fire. Okay. On the um, note, it should say... It's a bit detail. No. And stuff. You see, the, the, the dwarf <laughs> takes out a dagger from um from the side of his belt, and he kind of op give, opens his hand as if to um to kind of take the note. Okay, I give it to him. Okay, uh, he takes the note and he walks over to here, and uh, he places it. He basically stabs the note into the um into the tree. Okay. 
He says, "Okay, you guys, uh, you guys ready to go?" Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's okay. yep. rock. And uh, you guys begin heading where they ask you to ask you to head. Okay. Okay. Um, you guys still have a good half hour before your hour would be up. So I'm going to say that it's still your turn. Okay. Anything happened along our journey? Um, at a certain point, uh, you you reach a Ragnar and Dedrick in a crossroads, and um, the guys are going one direction, saying, "Well, we're, we're not going that way. They're citrine that way." And um, that's when you hear uh, this sound. In the distance, uh, along that, along the path that you guys kind of look down but aren't going. Could I try and recall that sound from my past experiences with fighting the undead? If it's like something I know, it is. It is absolutely not undead in any way, shape, or form. You know okay. that. Okay, that's good to know. What was the sound? It was a screaming, like a banshee scream, uh, screech. Wait, which direction? The sentry section or the the, the uh, way you guys are not going. So behind okay. us. Okay. And you guys continue on anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just ignore the scary noise. <laughs> whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um. Eventually, you guys reach a uh, what appears to be a cave. You're traveling along the path that um you guys were taking originally. And um, you kind of question why uh, why they why the citrine wouldn't be along this path, and um, the guys say that well, it's, there was a cave in ahead, and the uh, the citrine couldn't get through with their clunky armor, so they decided yeah. to go around. Yeah, yeah, totally. Why. Okay. Um, yeah, so they say it's so um, so. Uh, luck, so uh, for, fortunately, somebody came through, and they cleared the, cleared the way though. So, um, it, 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 yeah, so uh, we, we should be able to make, uh, make our way through. Okay. Let me just see if this is the right page I want to go to before I put you guys there. Yeah, it is. Oh, but I don't think it's actually reveal. Or, yeah, I was going to reveal the entire place to you. Good sir. <laughs> what was that by? Could we um, switch to a different soundtrack, maybe? Oh, is that is that one kind of uh, was... start starting to hurt ears a little bit? It's just repetitive. It's just, yeah. it's just good to mix up the flavor. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I was gonna go to the. Uh... Can we go back to the other one? <laughs> no, uh, you you look forward and you you, you guys reach um, the cave, and um, you see the dwarves kind of step forward, and you can see that there is what appears to be many many carts, and each each you can see each each cart appears to have um, crates and and various bundles of things um, that you could possibly look through and salvage if you if you like. Words is did something happen here or? Uh, they say we're we're not completely sure. We found these like you. Like right now or before? They said when we came through here uh, the first time we found these. Okay. It's just just laying here. You can see how some of them have. The, most of them have snow on them. I would say all of them have snow on them actually. Yeah. Are they like crates like supply crates or? Um, you can see some of the carts um, are actually brandished with uh, sigils. Um, uh, Dedrick notices one right away. Um, it appears to be a uh, a merchant. Okay. Hmm. Can I investigate it? You can if you like. If you like. I I I go up to it just to take a better look of its content. You you kind of clear the uh, the snow off it, 
and you can see this little little picture of a gnome giving a thumbs up and winking. Um, with your bardic knowledge, you know this is an this is an ale um, company, um, uh, specifically, specifically one from Fallcrest. Um, oh. You 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 know that they would deliver various al alcoholic drinks, um, most likely to the top of the mountain. So this was a supply caravan then to the top of the mountain. Are you asking? Are you, are you asking the DM? Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't tell you that kind of thing. Oh. You can ask a character, oh. and they could be like, I don't know. <laughs> I look at I look at Ragnar, and I just say, Yeah, it's probably supplies, but but it's all like far fall crest though. So. It's probably nothing. We should probably just keep moving. All right. They said it's rolling. Uh, they ask if you want to take point. Um, sure, I'll take point. I'll go. Yeah, I'll take point with them. Cool. So we'll 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 clear up the back. Okay. As they say for, uh, you you understand point means front, right? Yeah. Well, I'm just... Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's starting to get a little bit dark. Um, at this point, uh, it's probably. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, yeah, I was going to say it's probably about like eight or nine, so we'll be getting dark. Shall we just move our characters to the front of the cave? Yeah, you can if you like. Do whatever you feel. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was staring at a black screen the entire time. I didn't know. <laughs> oh! Because there we go. I thought we were in a cave, and I was like, oh, okay. No. Always a good idea to look around. I'll just take points in time with the one with the armor. Um, <laughs> cool. um you guys enter in, it's, it's quite dark. Um, Ragnar can see, but he sees as if it was low light, so he sees very poorly. Okay. Uh, uh, do I see any movement? Um, you look in and you... I'll, I'll reveal the area. But um, just note that you're, you're going to take penalties for sight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, you look in and... Um, you you don't see any movement, but you do see some discoloration up ahead. Hmm. Dedrick, do you have a torch by any chance? I take out a torch. Yeah, you take out a torch, and what do you do with it? <laughs> Perhaps oh, light, light it. Torch. With or the rock. Yeah. A rock. A friction, flint? yes. Rock. Friction makes fire. Fire lights torch. Yeah. Plus, I would assume, since these rocks are mainly mine, that there's sulfur among these rocks that would create a spark of light and match the uh, torch. You can assume anything you want. Oh, also, can I take that pickaxe? Uh, sure, yeah, you can see that there are, there's definitely uh, mining equipment um, all around you. So there's if, only a pickaxe and shovel? There's a pickaxe, shovel, uh, you, you see a couple more things, like some, like a cart or two. Like a wheelbarrow, rather. But uh, you, you see, you see many, um, many things of that nature. You could, you could take multiple shovels if you wanted. Um, I'll just take a shovel and a pickaxe. Cool. Uh, do you have space for them? You're yes, probably just gonna pull them in your hands because you can hold them in your hands more. Uh, just that note that you... when you, when you switch weapons, it might cause you to lose a turn. Would that pickaxe can... and shovel be medium or? Uh, I would say it'd be medium. medium. Yeah. Medium, okay, I'll yeah. just have to move them then. Uh, Keep in mind, I also still kept my uh, shovel and pickaxe in the store. Yep, yeah, those are yours. I don't have mail. Yep. I was hoping this scene would make you feel bad. This scene which I planned before you picked those pickaxes and stuff. Um, the dwarf says, we, we ready to get a move on? Yep. I say uh, you. Yep. Wait, is the torch lit up? Or? It is not. Um, you and Ragnar start banging rocks together, and then just kind of like, wow, this is, this is not how you light a fire, clearly. <laughs> I, I go to all four of these, and I, well, three of them, not the girl. I ask, do any of you have the capabilities of lighting this torch? Uh, you see this one just kind of shake his head at you, and he, uh, he goes into his pouch, and he takes, uh, he takes a little, um, some flint and tinder, and he starts tapping it until, uh, until your, your torch gets lit up. <laughs> they continue just shaking their heads at you. Okay, so, uh, Dedrick, I need you to hold the torch while I keep my halberd ready in case we get attacked, okay? Understood. <laughs> is, is that an inappropriate uh, light signal? <laughs> the target? 
you are a jerk. No, it'll be that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing is, I was just thinking the exact same thing when we got to this um, to the cave because I was like, "Yep, light a fire, and we are painted targets." <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you guys continue on, I'm assuming, or at least these guys say, "Let's let's get on with yeah, this." Yeah. Uh, Daylight's burning. This this meat is getting uh, more and more bad as we as Deadly, we wait. You have to follow. Okay. Follow. Mm -hmm. So, uh, to the sides, I presume, is the wall of the caves? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you, yes, it is, yeah. Uh, you uh, get to there and you... We have light. Yeah, yeah. See I'm, what that mark is? You can see that that is clearly blood. Um, I asked the other two dwarves, is the way we have to go in that direction, or...? Um, the... Oh, whoops, a second here. Um, the, the dwarves kind of walk up to it, and they say no. And the, uh... The man in the mithril, myth, with the mithril and the girl said, so thank god. Thank okay. Paylor. So I need to ask the dwarves, uh, which way do we go? Do we keep on going north of the cave? Or they the point cave? this way. East, okay. Can you along with that? Good, let's, let's go away. Frederick? See, be good at driving horror films, because every time something like this happens, the people always want to go when there's danger. Yeah. I don't know why. Because they're stupid. Uh, you get to another point and you see that there's been uh, there's some more carts tipped over. Some of them are tipped over, others are just kind of jammed into the wall. But you see that there are some crates and, and various things like that. Is it? Are they blocking our way? Uh, they are blocking your way. What are in the? Or can we search the crates for anything? Um, um certainly. Um, you, you, you basically jump onto the crates and, yeah, which one would you, well, there's still only two that actually have anything on them. Yeah. That, I don't, I'm not really picky. I'll take the north one while Dedrick searches cool. the south one. Why not? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you see these two basically get to here and they start pushing uh, this one out of the way. Uh, just for, while you two are doing that. <laughs> and, um, Dedrick kind of looks through and Ragnar, um, you see basically all the stuff that should have been, uh, out back. Here, uh, you find in that cart right there. Um, it's as if this one looted all the previous ones. Ah. Interesting. Yeah. Right and, uh, what's that? Nothing. And, uh, Dedrick, uh, Dedrick look, looks through his and he sees, um, uh, he, see, he sees various crates and he, he kind of takes it. What kind of weapon are you using again? Uh, I just have my torch out right now. Cool. Uh, so you take your... Okay, so, um, you, you, what kind of weapon do you have that you can open a crate with? Oh, a uh, short sword. A short sword? Um, that wouldn't be very effective. Uh, shovel, pickaxe. Oh, there we go. Um, you take your shovel and you jam it in, you, you give it a twist, and you you basically start unpeeling these boards. I uh, look inside and you see some, um, some clothing in there. Do I oh. recognize the clothing? Do you recognize the clothing? Uh, give me a bar knowledge check. I can. That's the uh, potion that gives you a third arm. Oh! <laughs> but, oh, that was weird. So, while, while he's checking that, I'll move up. I keep. Oh, catalog. That's weird. Okay, um, 24. Know. Um, you, you think you saw it in a, once, um, some of the stuff in a their dresses, and particularly you remember seeing it in a store window once in Rake's March. Oh my god, these must no. be expensive. No. Um, you, you, hear, uh, you hear these guys over here go, oh my gosh. I move up to see what they're talking about? No. You I... move up and you see that there is a dismembered head on the ground. Is it human, dwarf, or what is it? it appears to be human. Okay. Yes. What size would it be? Um, you could. It would be um, ah, uh, medium. Medium down. Okay. No. Um, Actually, I do have one more spot. Nah, I don't think this numbered head would be that useful. Yeah. No. I. Right. What's up? Can I put the dress in my uh pack? Um, you sure could. Each one would be a large item. A large item. Okay. Yeah. Because because it's like a dress. It's it's. Oh, so it's a lot oh, of clothes. 
I could take Words. that back. <laughs> so how many tins? Just, just have to put my wool pill. Wait, can't he just like sling it over his shoulder? Uh, he could, but in the event of a battle or needing to do anything, yeah. it would just fly away. Yeah. Okay. And it would ruin the dress. Yeah. You, you are covered in dirty armor. But putting in yeah. goo, that's a good idea. <laughs> so yeah, so we... Wait, couldn't we just put the... You said this cargo was heading toward the town, correct? Yes. Why don't we just load up the cargo onto this cart? I presume it's workable, right? Since uh, you you did just push it, yeah. Um, yeah, you, so it's workable. You do question if you could... It would, it would slow you down tremendously. Oh, okay. Um, because you don't have a, uh, a horse to pull it, but you could absolutely do that, especially with your strength. Yeah. Uh, I asked the dwarves, was this cargo crucial? Uh, if it was, we I can try and pull this cart and... Um, they, they say we, we look through most around the way here. We need food, not beer and, and with okay. ladies' clothes. Okay. Just wondering. <laughs> so we continue. I ask which direction uh, we will be going, north or south? Uh, they point that way. Okay. Continue taking point. Porch, please. Yeah. Thank you. Um, as this guy kind of steps over the the head, you see it start to twist and move, and he this guy backs off and falls on his butt actually, and so does this guy as they look at this head on the ground twitching and kind of looking around and, and is making it movement with his eyes with his mouth. Um, you have something called dead sight, and you can use that ability right now if you'd like. Is it a spell though? Um, no, it is a. All this is an action, and allows you for the duration of that action to basically see all the undead, um, undead celestial and demons oh, in the yeah, area. Oh, yeah. Uh, sure. I guess this is as good a time as any. Uh, you by the way, you see these ones about to pass the uh, cart. Do you want to do anything as they get ready to pass? Um, I tell them to just stay there for the moment until we clear up this. Moving a uh, severed head issue. Um, he says what? And you hear the little girl go what? I I I, I go up to him just to make sure they're safe. Yeah. Cool. So. So what do you plan to do? Uh, do you? Oh, uh, you want to use divine sense? Uh, you kind of your you see your eyes kind of turn to like a silverish color. As you look down, you see this thing kind of glowing a big red um, on your sight. Can I see, or do I sense the other parts of it as well, or no? Um, you start looking around, try to sense them more, and you just, it's... Uh, you, you remember that scene in the second Aliens, in the Aliens movie, where it's kind of like one blip, and then three blips, and then about 50 blips? Oh, God. That, ha that happens. <laughs> That's good. Okay, okay. You, you can, it's kind of like blip... Blip 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 blip. Oh, yeah. Okay, so all around. Blip 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 blip. Uh, pretty much it's all coming from this way. It's this is where most of it's coming from. Okay, so from the direction we're supposed to go. Yeah. Um, I asked the dwarves if they quickly if they know what's to the north, like to the north passage. They say it's just just mines. Okay, so dead ends. Um. Well, I tell them that I sense undead or most likely undead things ahead of us. So they say that that explains all the uh, all that explains the citrine on the mountain. Yes, that certainly does. Um, Which means we hit out the fight to get yep. our way through. Okay, so I'll take point. Uh, yeah, um, everyone prepare to for battle. The, I ask they, the man. They, they say, "Okay, we're, we're coming up now." We start. Yeah. I go up to him and I ask, can you fight? Um, the so man takes the, the man takes out the dagger and says, sure, why not? Uh, Dedrick, you okay. fought the undead before. Is there anything you want to tell anyone about how to fight undead? Uh, you want to dismember their limb. Well, Wait, is I, that I'm kind of undead? or? Yeah, that kind of undead. I kind of am such a kind of obvious yep, one. You no. want to dismember their, the, uh, the limb. Yeah. Yeah. Actually... Uh, What's up? I hand the girl the, uh, that what you call it, the torch. Oh god, uh, use her as bait or something? Come on, man. Yeah. No, the, no, 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 just to, like, <laughs> eat the... This, the man takes it from you, and he, he takes out his dagger, and he holds the torch in his hand, and says, I got it, don't worry. <laughs> okay, and I take out my flute, 
or loot. Sorry. Sure. Um, so these guys are going to go this okay. way around. I have... So they start moving up. Okay. Um, just tell tell them to watch out for that head. They they say what? St oh, tell them to the, stop, stop, the stop, head. stop, 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 stop. Okay. Um, here, come towards where I am. Go around. I go poke around. the head away from there with my halberd. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you, you kind of knock it over to here. Thank you. As these guys kind of continue moving on. The uses of a halberd. Right. Yeah. Uh, so he's now holding the light, and these guys are in the back. Okay, um, continue moving up slowly and carefully. Cool. Um, with, with the light, you can see this. I see something ahead to the directly yeah. south of me. Yeah, you, you, you see it appears to be some sort of human, um, human merchant. Shape. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, is the divine sense still active? Oh, yeah. It's, okay. it's, it's going, this guy is an undead. Okay. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, um... Nedrick, do you have any ranged attacks that would be plausible at this time? Uh, it, just, it doesn't appear to notice you. It appears to be facing the other oh, direction. Okay. That's, that's good. Is there uh, a way that we could sneak by it, or...? We could just try to slowly walk over. I'm pretty sure the light will catch their attention. Maybe. Yeah, plus I have that armor. Hmm. Okay, so... We might as well uh, just do a surprise attack so we can get the advantage. Okay, yeah, why not? We'll do a surprise attack. Cool, okay. so, uh, initiative one. Uh, initiative is... Before initiative, everybody's gonna die by zombies. Zombies! Tell me about it! Oh, thank goodness! <laughs> Sorry. Cool, so, uh... Thor and Hammer, name to go by the name uh, Grimax, gets 12, you get 18 for a good friend Grimax. And Dedrick? And Rag Ragnar, you can put your own in. You guys can put your own in. I already did. I got the 22. Well, I know you rolled, but you didn't, you didn't adjust your own thing. Um, oh, okay, so um, you guys know what song plays now. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, so I believe it was Ragnar who wanted to, said he wanted to fight these guys. It's your turn. Uh, yeah. Surprise attack him. Cool. Oh. Um, yeah, you, you, you can you can surprise attack the undead. I don't think you can sneak attack him though. Okay, surprise attack. Why not? But yeah, you you would be basically running over there. Yeah, and I have a halberd, so I can stay. Yeah. With so you you stab through him. Um, a halberd does what kind of damage? Um, doesn't it do slashing? Sounds like slashing. So um, okay, cool. So you run up to this guy and you try to do some slashing damage. Okay. Give me an attack roll. Cool. Nineteen. Oh, oh and plus proficiency, right? That would be another plus two, I think. Yeah, you got oh. him. He's 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 not moving very fast. <laughs> okay. Um, give me a damage roll. Uh, oh. Huh. Forgot the... Okay. Cool. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a bonus to that, your strength. Yep, plus two. So. Plus two, so you did ten damage. Uh, you kind of just slash at it. It kind of stumbles for a bit, turns around, and then half its body just kind of falls. Okay. Yeah. Now, at first, you're like, this, I just won. No, and no, it's a crawler now. Essentially. It's a crawler, yeah. Um, okay, I guess that's the end of my turn. Yep. Uh, Griefus is gonna go, hey, now I'm not taking this. You can go one, two, three, four, five. And it's gonna charge to finish it off. He's going to slam his hammer down. Oh! oh. And it's just the, this thing oh. just turns to dust. <laughs> yeah. And you see him kind of smile and go, ha ha. And then he looks up and goes, oh my gosh. And he sees a huge swarm of them, doesn't he? Uh, Dedrick, you're up. Um, I start playing my. I start playing uh, Call the Battle. 
Awesome. So Dedrick starts playing loud music. <laughs> <laughs> My god. Did you not listen this to the part where this place so, came in recently? Yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm go pretty, make the music even yeah, like. The oh, no, this, this is this is the music that makes sense. If you kill one of them, you alert all of them. It's like a, like a. <laughs> what was that? Oh, just because you're playing the music now. I missed this song. Okay, um, so sweet. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna roll three initiative rolls. Oh dear, I'm worried what we have to go up against. Okay, cool. Um. <laughs> can we just have? Can we have just the? You got the touch. So can, that you want to just have that? Yeah. Sure. I don't... <laughs> this is Dedrick sing, playing on his flute. Oh, um, You're nobody's fool. Yeah. No. Um. So this read that's gonna go since Grievous already has. Um. You you start hearing noises coming from over here. Okay. Uh, that's about as much as you hear. You just hear noises. Um, Dedrick, you just had your turn. Thorn Hammer is going to move one, two, three, four, five. It's got a double move. Yes, two about there. Okay. Um, cool. Now, which ones are these guys? Um, you hear like what sounds like vomiting going down, down here, oh, as God. um you see some green. Black goo splash this way. Okay. Um, you see stumbling back, covered in this necrotic goo, is um is Grimax. Okay. Um, is he in pain or? Ah, uh, he appears to be in great pain. Yes. Okay. Uh, so it's acidic. Gotcha. Let me actually just see exactly what it is. Um, yeah, yeah, you, you see, it, you see it kind of, kind of burning them, and yeah, and as it happens, you see it kind of, you see these guys just swarm him. Oh dear. Yeah, and they're going to be doing. On him, uh, you see him basically start trying to tear at him. Red shirt. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you see, you see one of them get a good hit on him. Oh mm. God! Don't say red shirt. The girl wearing red. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't say red shirt. Do not say red. Yeah, and you see him basically just getting, getting brutalized over here. Ah, uh, oh, Ragnar, God. back to you. I think. Okay. Wait, no, not back to you. These guys haven't done anything yet. Oh. I hear movement, uh, Dedrick, here's movement going on down here. Dedrick, oh God. Please, please take care of that movement while I take care of these guys. Got it. <laughs> you got the power. So, now it's my turn? Um, yes, now your turn, right now. Okay, um, I move up over here, yeah. um, cool. so I can see a bit more. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the vision. Okay, cool. um... Is that a boomer? That's a boomer. Yeah. Would so is that guy yeah. savable or is he just dead? Um, he, he he appears to still have strength. He's still up. If he wasn't savable, he'd be down for the little X on him. Okay, so I try and give me a strength I... check to throw him away. Okay, but that will be your action. Yeah, I, I will take that. I will try and save him. Yeah, uh, and this would be to rip him. Yeah, that that, that would beat the zombies. Um, okay. especially since these these re dead in particular, are merchants. So you fling him and he goes back here and lands on his back. And you just see him trying to scrape the stuff off his face. Okay. Yeah. And uh, now these guys turn, and as he does that, you see... Blah! Oh, god damn it. <laughs> blah, as they, they start uh, crowding on him. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, if any constellation, one good thing seems to come out of this. Is that you see this one here get... Uh, Crushed by something. Okay. Hold on a second here. Okay. <laughs> Which is particularly bra. 
this thing that comes out of the woodwork. Is that a zombie wolf or a zombie bear? You recognize that as a warg. Well, crap. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, so it is going to try to eat him as well. Oof. Right. This guy's got a big bonus. Uh, 14, and he's... Oh, whoops. Oh god, not another one. No, no, that was... Okay, thank god. <laughs> oh god, thank god. <laughs> Cool, and uh, I, you, you, zombies start uh, ravaging him again. I tried to help. Yeah, he's not looking good. Uh, Grievous, he is going to turn to this guy and give him a. Is that the song? What? That, that's that's what is being played by yeah. Dedrick right now. That's Dedrick's in a, in a in a zombie cave, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, with a zombie yeah, I thought that was wolf. I was on this TV for like the last five minutes. We're going okay. To a zombie wolf, okay. Um, unfortunately, Grievous, uh, he 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 basically slams into the zombie and then rips his his hammer out, and uh, they just it seems unfazed. Oh okay. Wait, well, what, what? Dedrick died. What? No, Dedrick's you fine. You X over him. <laughs> oh. Okay. What the heck? What was wait? <laughs> What happened? I, I, I don't know, I just saw that. That's what weird. I didn't put any X over you. <laughs> what kind of thing? Huh? heart attack out of fright? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey. Um, so Dedrick, two, three, four, five. Then, um... Oh god. Oh. Did Grievous already attack? Uh, yeah, Grievous attacked and he missed horribly. Wait, doesn't he get a D4? Oh, wait, he missed. So... Dedrick, good luck over there. Well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say you see. Dedrick, you have an opportunity to be a hero here. Do you wanna take it? Um, what's the hero opportunity? <laughs> it's being a hero for these two. I'll take it. Cool. Take it. Uh, you, while still playing the music, you push them out of the way and throw yourself into the zombies. <laughs> Um, we start with this one. Actually, I'm going to start with those two attacking you. Uh, you take four damage. Uh, Oof. As, uh, this one knocks you... It's, no, Skirmish is the only thing you do. As this one kind of runs past you, gets to right here. Um, so yeah, one of them hits you for four damage. You take four damage. And as, as you're taking four damage, please roll me a... Saving throw for dexterity. Oh. Please. 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 Can I, um... Can I... Wait, dexterity? Dexterity. I have zero dexterity modifier. <laughs> so that's a four. Okay, yes. do you want to do anything with this four? What do you mean? Like, dude, okay, a four is all you got, so that's that's it. Uh, this yeah, guy is going to vomit this sick acid onto you. And, nice. uh... What's that? No, nothing. Good. Damn straight nothing. <laughs> um, it vomits onto you, uh, you take 1d8 necrotic damage. You take two points of necrotic damage, and uh, you see all of the zombies just kind of glare at you intently. Intensely. Um, and I'm gonna say, Dedrick, it's now your turn. You're nice. still- you are using two hands to play the flute at the moment. Can I cause fear? I will... Can you cause fear? I don't think Undead can be afraid. Yeah, that's oh. what I was thinking. I, I know what I'm gonna do next. Awesome. Uh... Let me see. Are they so they're all focused on me, or are they all just like popping out? They are very people? focused on you. You are you are their meal. Okay. Um. Let me see. Let okay, me see. that would work. Let me see. Um. 
You Where's just have the, uh... to survive until my turn. I might be able to help you. Okay. If you want, you I... can just go defensive, which will give all enemies disadvantage. Alright. I want to say defensive, but at the same time, I want to tackle this dude up against the wall and then tell these guys to run. Out of um, you can do one or the other. I I'm pretty sure. Well, uh, they can't well, those zombies, and not to mention the zombie ward, is in their way of escaping, so... I mean, like, out, yeah, back to where we came from. You mean the zombies that are in front of them, blocking the path? No, not in front of them, behind us, the way we came from. Yeah, I know, but that they're still blocking it. Are they? I mean, they're focused on me, so I wouldn't. I would assume they wouldn't. Yeah, but look at the squares. They take up all the squares. The only square that they could, they're not blocking, is like a, a half a square. They could potentially squeeze through. Squeezing through between a rock and a zombie. I don't think that's a really good thing. Oh no, that's why I was saying. I, I want to tackle this dude to get him out of the way. Okay. Yeah, that might be a good. Thing. I, I might do, cause they'll die either way. And yeah. I don't want to be... Okay. Ah, uh, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do it. I'll tackle cool. the zombie. Cool. Uh, you give me a strength. Uh, check. Oh crap. Um, yeah, it would just be strength, no athletics. Just strength, right? Yeah, just strength. If you were okay. Ragnar, I might give you proficiency bonus. Oh, nice. Um, so yeah, you kind of tackle this this way and you, you launch him against the wall. Uh, pinning him. Okay. Uh, and what else do you? And I tell them to run. Cool, which direction? Back to where we came from. Cool. Uh, essentially east. Um, they begin running, and as they do, your light fades lower and lower. <laughs> till eventually, for Dedrick, it's pitch black, and Ragnar, you're just having difficulty seeing in general. Okay. So you get minus two dollar checks for now. Oh god! Okay. Uh, Thorn Hammer says, what the hell, what the hell, as he, um, attempts to, he attempts to get up. Oof. And then he swings at the warg. Um, yeah, and he, and he hits a good. Uh, oof, nice. Does six point of points of damage. Uh, you can see him basically just knocking on its head, and it sends his eye flying. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, and it hits Dedrick in the face, but he doesn't know what it was. Uh, <laughs> Redead, which ones are these? Okay, uh, so these ones are going to move here, and here, and here. Uh, I'm going to say the three attack, and then the last one's going to throw up on me. Okay, on me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, critical failure. Uh, you can roll me one d twenty to see what what you can do to that last one. Um, Basically, if, if yeah, if he critically fails on you, you get you stunt dice on him. Okay. So you can use fourteen points of stunt dice essentially. Um, where's that list again? I'll I'll put it up. Oh, for sure, please. Yeah. Thank you. Um, can I do two mighty blows on him? Uh, if you look, it says attacking only for Mighty Blow. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, I didn't see that. Um, hmm. And it's only effects to him, correct? Yes. Okay, um, I knock him back, or knock her off prone. Cool. Uh, also, I will, uh, what was the other one? No, off balance him as well. Cool. Um, That's pretty much all I can do. I'm not gonna leave m yeah. my friendly dwarves, so I won't skirmish away. Um, yeah, I, I think that's all I can do. Okay. Um, it's at this time I'm gonna say Uther Fire comes in over here. <laughs> you there, Shell? Oh, thank God. <laughs> you there, Shell? Can we assume that? Um, is Shaw here? Milo, Noren, and Vic. Oh. No, 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 he isn't apparently. Just... Our, oh. our savior has left us. Isn't that hilarious? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, there he is. 
Good shot. Good shot. Did you do Blue Fire, um after following through, um after after following the place you thought said you wanted to go. You you, oh. you said you wanted to go along the standard path. Eventually yeah, back up. yeah, eventually you reach with sound uh I reach um, a bunch of carts, you in a cave, you hear the sound of a flute, one that's familiar to you, because you've heard um Dedrick play before. And you hear, I'll, you, you basically hear his battle song. And um, I'm assuming, I'm assuming you would, you would be like, my friend is in trouble. I should probably go help him. Yeah, but before okay. I do that, who's this in front? Um, as you, as you run forward through this dark cave, uh, you see someone holding a light and a little girl. Uh, they kind of bump into you. Um, as you go through, uh, as as you go through, as as he runs past you, he throws you the torch. And then, uh, and it keeps going. That guy? Yeah, this guy here. You see, you see this clearly the Mithril Trader. He says, what's oh, up? As he keeps running by. Jeez. Okay, wait. Uh, is he still wearing that Mithril coat? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, so, um, you guys, I love you and all, but... No. <sighs> Don't you dare. <laughs> Yo, you are foul as I really want that. I will get all the gods to smite you. <laughs> <laughs> the old and the new. All right, all right, all right. So I'll let him I go past and I go forward. I have connections. Jeez. You guys let me know prize get away. Cool. Um. So Uda Fire moves to here. Head, by the way, watch out for that head. Where am I? I move my full speed right now. Oh yeah, I, I'd say you you basically run and jump on the cart to give yourself a little height, and uh, yeah. you. You using your torch in hand, uh, you kind of illuminate from this, and you see Dedrick slam playing the flute and slamming this guy uh, back into the wall with his head. And you wow. see all these zombies just just I chasing after him. Um, so, I'm, so I'm going to say you can you can make your turn right now. Okay, what did you... We didn't do anything. <laughs> Please help us. But go on, we do. <laughs> Alright, so I am going to do damn it. You have a torch in one hand, by the way. Uh why he gave him the torch? He he threw it to you, you just kind of caught it in the air. Alright, so I'm going to da, 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 da. Are zombies can I do an insight roll just to see if zombies if I throw the torch at the zombies, would they catch on fire? Um, it depends on if their clothing is um flammable or not. Uh, well, what are the zombies wearing? Uh, do give me a perception check, and I'll tell you if it's flammable or not. How much do I add if I'm trained in perception? Perception? Uh, you add two. Because you're level three. Fifteen. Uh, you can see that they're wearing various merchants' cloth. Unfortunately, um, it looks damp with due, with due to blood. So I'm going to drop this torch and draw my longbow. Okay, uh, note that a torch being on the ground as compared to in the hand reduces the vision to about that. Uh, I have low light vision though. I realize that. It would be about oh, that. Oh, still? Okay. Yeah. Jeez, how dark and is it? In it, it would, okay. no, it's, it's, it's pitch black at this point. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I'll drop the torch. Cool. Aim at, uh, Tubby right there. Cool. Sounds good. D20 plus. Okay. okay, um, so you shoot him with an 11? Yeah. With, with an arrow? Yeah. Cool, no. um, you see it kind, of, it kind of pierces him. It just kind of sticks in him. Does any of that acid that's inside of him spew out or no? Um, uh, he hit him in the chest, so no. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they puke. Acid, so watch out. <laughs> you shout while being attacked by zombies. Yes. <laughs> um. Okay, and so that happens. Ragnar, you're up. Ragnar. Uh, okay. What, what, what was that? Or Uda Fire, if you want, you can dead. roll damage, but it's not going to be great. Turn undead. Nice. Um. I'm just going to look up the class to make sure I know exactly what it does. As an action, you present your holy symbol and speak a prayer, censoring the undead using your channel of divinity. 
Uh, each undead creature within 25 feet of you must make a wisdom saving throw unless the creature has total cover against you. If the creature Hi. fails its saving throw, it is turned for one minute or until it takes damage. Nice. Oh, yeah. So, um, the only ones who wouldn't be affected are all of these ones. This one this one would be, but uh, the rest are fine. Yeah? Um, so... 25 feet, oof. so everything near me. <laughs> I accidentally backed out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to roll these guys wisdom saves, and guess what? These zombies aren't very mindful, so... <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry. I don't know what happened. Minus one. There we go. Um, oh, come on. In five seconds. Two, one, zero. Oh okay, yeah, I'm gonna do this from leftmost to right, left and bottom. Um, so uh, they have to use saving throws against your your uh, what wisdom modifier? I uh, let's see, uh, da, 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 da. make a wisdom saving throw. Just yeah. So, so um, so what's your wisdom? Uh, my wisdom is plus. Well, let me check actually. Uh wisdom is plus one. Cool. So, and you're carrying your holy symbol, so it's another plus two. Okay. Um, but you start at eight, so it would be what? Eight plus three would make twelve? Yeah. Or eleven? So uh, they have to be in eleven. So failure. 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 Wait, success. Failure. Success. Success. Um, so the only, so I'm just going to do the ones that are turned, uh, which would be, I'll just do this symbol. It's easy. Um, oh, I didn't do that guy yet, actually. Okay, good. The warg is also turned. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, and by the way, those guys do a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, like I, I figured. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, they're going to try to run on their turn. Um, that was your everything you do, and this one yeah, do movement. That's my whole turn. But you can yeah. move. You can move now, and these guys will not take attacks of attack opportunity. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> so if you wanted to move to go save Dedrick, you could. I can do that right now. You can. You can. You can because you still have your oh, movement. Sorry. Uh, would that work? Okay. Yeah. I. I oh, wrong button. Uh, I will move over there. Cool. Uh, that dwarf would better be able to take on three of them. You know how many I stopped? This one's currently being aided by three. Yes, but he has support from his... Okay, fine. I go... Do whatever you want. To try and help I'm, just, I'm just telling you what's happening. Okay, I'm going over here to try next turn to help him. Okay. Cool. Um, Wait, can I use my lay on hands to heal him on the same turn or no? You, uh, no. You already used no, your okay. action. Okay, just making sure. Alright. Okay. Um, so these guys attack of opportunity, uh, one, minus, plus four, so that's a hit, and that's going to be another hit. That, that's, that's good, because these are good okay. synergies. Uh, this should be with minus. Um, so these guys are going to be dealing, uh, 2d12. Uh, so yeah, this this one just gets smashed in half. Okay. <laughs> yeah, essentially. And uh, this guy's running away. Awesome. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, get it out of D4. Um, sure. They had D4s and they double kill him. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these ones, however, are not so scared, and they're gonna keep going after uh, Grimax. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so it looks like... Wait, six? Oh, are uh, rolling for everyone? No, I'm, I'm rolling for these three zombies. Then why do you roll six for three? Uh, I roll six for three because this guy's covered in goo. Ah, okay. There we go. Now yeah. I know. Well, yeah, now you know, but I shouldn't have to tell you. You should just be like, he's got a reason. Yeah. Um, so 2d4. Oh, wow, lucky him. <laughs> nice. Oof. Seriously? So the lucky. There you go. Five. Five damage. 
Okay, uh, that was those guys. Grievous, he is going to... He's going to move to here and he's going to skip that one a smash. <laughs> unfortunately... Yeah, unfortunately this TT just falls over and gets disadvantaged and a whole bunch of terrible things. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Good luck, Dedrick. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm sorry. Uh, these guys all want you to be a... Can I can I off the peace offering? <laughs> um, you can if you like. Uh, this one, however, seems to want to go over to Udafire. What are you gonna do? Offer them like a brain or something? Can I offer them an olive brain? Okay, so <laughs> so first it's gonna be from the left one. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. I think. What's your AC? Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, it looks like none of them. Oh, yeah, it looks like none of them hit you. Uh, the one behind you is going to try to hit you, though. Yeah, so they, they basically all start chewing on your armor. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, one of them is going to try to smack uh, Udafire, but Udafire just kind of lifts his leg as he goes for the swing. Uh, Dedrick, you're up. You go fully surrounded. Okay. And have a, have a zombie on your back. Uh, can I... Switch to my sword and an attack. Switch to my sword as a movement and an attack. Um, you're covered with zombies. But I'll allow it. <laughs> so is that a yes? Yes, yeah, do it. Or... Go for it. <laughs> you take it. You take out your sword. I'm like, oh, this is crazy. No reference. All right, I take out my sword and I want to do a charge attack on this guy. Can't charge. So it's... Too close. Can't charge. No. Nope. Okay. Well then, let me just attack this one then. Right. Sounds good. Oh wait, let me get the. Here we go. Okay, that one. Let me. Does hmm? Didrick have any spells left? Does Didrick no, have no. any spells left? Um, no. I... Okay, I have 15 hits. Do some damage. Okay, good. <laughs> That's a shame. I. You. I... you... What's I'm up? going to roll up the dice on this. Okay, go for it. <laughs> so you slash it across its belly, and you just see all its all its guts just kind of spill out. Um, but then you see it kind of continue to attack you, and you're like, oh yeah, that's right. Zombie. These things having their guts really doesn't affect their attacking style. Um, Grimax is going to go for an attack, but he is going to hit. He's got plus... It's got a good plus. So he hits anyways. And you just you see him kind of uh, smash one of these things' arms off. Okay. Uh, which redead are these? Okay, uh, all these guys down here you see run down here. And... Okay. Yeah. Udo Fire. I'm going to actually remove them as well. Uh, Udo Fire, what do you want to do? You currently have a guy on your tail. What if I has a tail? Oh wait, this guy, I keep forgetting these guys get extra 1d4s to attack because of Dedrick. Yeah, so this zombie up here is dead. Awesome. Yeah, yeah that force is between yeah. death and yeah. life. Okay, uh, so what are you doing, Udo Fire? The shot. Mm -hmm. He uh, not in the call. No, he's not. What? Uh, it says it's a little loading thing. Yeah, here. he is connecting. Weird. <laughs> yeah, misspell his name. That'll make it easier. Ah, uh, you want to just skip him and go to Ragnar for now? Uh, let's give him a up. We can maybe go right there. Yeah, let's just go to Ragnar for now. It's just uh, Skype. So, uh, Dedrick, aren't you happy I'm a paladin? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Definitely. Oh my god, I am so happy I remembered that turn I'm dead. God. Imagine. <laughs> like the one thing that you yeah. actually need. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, Call yeah again. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, uh, it's your turn. You want to give him a good shot? 
All right, so I yell to everyone. Maybe it's uh, maybe we should start retreating. What we, we got I most say, of them um, killed over here. We got most of them. Manus will finish the job. <laughs> All right, so I'm looking at this uh, tubby right here. Yeah. You see him from blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna draw my daggers and go for a, a double hit. Cool. Does he, get a, does he get advantage for uh, being high? Nope. <laughs> All right, so just strength mod. Yep. Um. Oh, I keep forgetting. Um. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Yeah, I, I was gonna say these guys keep. <laughs> so that's a miss. Right, no, I, I wouldn't. Well, it, it can be strength or dexterity. Remember, you can hit twice. Oh, you can attack okay. twice. But, uh, but yeah, you still get a four. So that would be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would be a nine. Uh, with a nine, you miss. Uh, with a seventeen, you hit. Uh, but no, it's it's actually it's it's pitch black at this point, isn't it? No, no, it's right. There's a little light here. Never mind. Okay. Because uh, Ulfar really threw it down. Um, so yeah, you are good with fire. You hit him once. Uh, three plus one d4. Why did the other d4? Uh, because the song was playing. Yeah. Oh, okay. You got the touch. Ow! <laughs> you got the fire. You gotta whistle it. Uh, so you stab him good, and uh, he doesn't appear to be affected. Yeah. Ragnar. Uh, I... It hits the zombie in the top right corner. Okay. This one? Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, that one. Cool. Give me a roll. A uh, six. That's not Wait, gonna hit plus really. four, uh, Plus another 1d4 for the song, right? Nope. Oh, okay. That's, it's two damage oh, in attack. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But you, if only you had an RP dice. Yeah. No, I, but I think saving the little good uh, uh, girl's life was worth it. So meh. Um. Yeah. So these ones gonna move to here and here. <laughs> um. This one moving to here provokes an attack. Up. Actually, no. He he wouldn't move. He's he wants to get the juicy, juicy brands of the one guy in the middle. Uh. So they both attack him with once again advantage. Uh. But neither hit. Okay. Oh god. I uh, grievous. <laughs> Oh, net dang it, Grievous. Dang it. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, sorry. Um, so, so yeah, Grievous yeah. stands up and he trips again as he attacks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is he drunk? Redead. Uh, which ones are these? Okay, these ones are one by Dedrick. One's gonna try to smack Udafire. It's gonna fail. A bunch are gonna try to kill Dedrick. <laughs> one of them hit. <laughs> two of them hit. And yeah, two of them hit you. Okay. Uh, you were dealt eight points of damage as you scream out. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> I'm down no. to two. What? It's, it's at this point where you see this thing yeah. walk oh, out god, calmly. No. No. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Dedrick, how much health do you have left? <laughs> Dedrick, you're up. <laughs> Um. You got the power. Okay. Um. <laughs> my arm. Can I charge this guy directly? I keep me? telling you, you have, to, you have to have at least ten feet to charge. Okay, dang it. Can I? Uh, I could. Uh, I want to because I want to regroup over here, so that way there's four of us. Yeah. Group up in the strength and numbers, but then Uda Fire would take all the heat. What? You mean the one with all the health? Yeah, but yeah. This is why you're I basically retreat. like the slime. Yeah, but we can't the retreat because like now... everybody. Yeah. Plus, most of us are, are down here, and then you have that dude, and then the ward, ward, whatever. <laughs> all right. So um. Uh, what if, um, hmm, are zombies attracted to sound or anything, or? Um, I would say attracted to it, but they know it means, you know, food, essentially. Or, you know, you don't know what motivates zombies. Very few people do. Okay. Oh. 
Wait a minute. No, I can't do that. But, uh, Dedrick. Dedrick, it is still your turn. Action. Can I just... Go to fire, what's your AC? It's 16. Oh, okay, I, I feel just as comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna... Disengage, and then move all the way back here. It's 5, and... And then... 15, 20, we're back here. Cool. So you you hide behind you, buddy. Yep. Uh, Thor and Hammer is going to take a swipe. Uh, he's going to hit. Um, and he's going to smash this one in Twain. Unfortunately, Twain implies that that happens. Uh, Udafar, back to you. Alright. So I'm gonna go... Is the song still playing? Yep, uh, but it's too far away from you to... Yeah. Get that. So. Yeah. Right. Move in range, but... I don't know if you want to do that. Oh, wait, wait, um... The... Crawler. Would that invoke Halberd? Or no? Uh, becoming a crawler? Oh, he became a crawler. I thought he just came. Like, no, no, he okay. he turned into a I, crawler. My bad. By you splitting him, by this guy splitting him in half. Okay, I did not hear that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take this fatso again with my daggers. Sounds good. I need better weapons than daggers. Yep. And oh wait, wait, I forgot to add the mod. Was the yeah. Uh, point is, you got 15, and that hits. Uh, actually, it would be a 14 or a 13 because you can't see very well. Oh, I thought you said there was light. Uh, it's a very tiny amount of light coming from right here because of that torch is from the ground. Yeah. But it's it's still not very useful. Okay. So the first one hits. Second one misses. Uh, which second one's nine? Or second uh, one's a six? Second one is a six. Then yeah, it misses. Actually, it, it critically misses, which means he gets to most likely oh, oh, rape you. Oh. Yeah, he... Oh. Does he still get oh, that? Can he not see? Hit, though? Wouldn't he get a penalty? Because he wouldn't be able to see. He gets a penalty, but it doesn't affect stunts. Um. So he's going to. Uh, hoo, 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 he's going to grab at your. Wait, six. Oh, a sixteen. Yeah, he's he's going to try to grab at you, but in doing so, he grabs your your bow, and he's going to try to basically come back while ripping it on your back. So, give me a Constitution saving throw to not break your bow. Come on, come on, dice. I'm on the action for this. <laughs> not only does your bow break. But it breaks into pieces and completely shatters. Goodness. Your bow is no longer an item, but it is capable of being firewood. Could we possibly summon Team Sapphire? <laughs> um, nope. This shit wouldn't help you guys. Like, I should have just listened to my instinct and did shit off. Would have been a good call. Uh, Ragnar, you're uh, up. Um, you stabbed this guy with. Yeah, even if you got like a, a really high roll on your damage, the dagger it's not going to be great. Yeah. Okay, um, well... I is the a dealt to him with the first dagger. Like, <laughs> oh, please. Udo, oh, no, that was Udo Fire. I thought, I thought um, Ragnar Ragnar's rolled a 1-2. So I was going to yeah. really break your weapon, too. Oh, uh, my god. <laughs> so, um, is it my turn now? Uh, Ragnar's turn, yeah. Yeah, uh, okay, um... I am pretty sure uh, the other uh, Dedrick and the two dwarves can handle those two zombies right beside us, so I'm gonna heal Dedrick with Lay on Hands. Cool. 50 uh, health points to him. He can't see anything, by the way, right now, so you, he just feels something grab at him. I and, tell him. uh. I tell him it's me. It's me! Heal! Yeah, sure. Uh, he gets healed, he goes back to 17. Which I'm pretty sure it's oh, you, near as full. You're welcome. No, I I think I still got more. Wait, 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 you have, um, didn't you use your Lay on Hands already? No, I used Earlier no. today? Not today, no. No, not no. this game, but I mean, during the no, entire day. Okay, cool, cool. 
So yeah, 70 then. Uh, so that was your action. Yeah. At so, least my teammate won't die. <laughs> you'd say that, but you don't know. Uh, this guy's going to try to attack I that guy. I'm going to fail. This guy's going to ta try to attack that guy too. He's going to fail as well. Okay, uh, Grievous, he's going to stand up and hopefully not critically fail again. <laughs> 16. There we go. Redemption. Stands up and slips down. Uh, yeah, he he smashes this guy, and unfortunately, <laughs> and he just kind of bashes him in half, uh, splits him in two. Okay. Uh, the redead. That's yeah, only. We get rid of this one because only one real redead left. Um. So yeah, these ones are going to. Uh, I'd say they'd probably split. Uh, this one's going to move to here and draw the attack of opportunity. Okay, I'll roll. Give me a roll. Don't do anything silly like failing horribly and getting a 1 and breaking your halberd into And what modifiers is it? Uh, it's, it's 6. As long as you have more than a plus 2, you'll hit. Yeah, I got a plus 2 from strength and... From yeah, so it, it, it hits. Okay. I thank god. <laughs> but it doesn't do enough damage, unfortunately. Oh, wait, 1d4 for the blunt end. Give it to me. You got oh, you have to hit. you have to hit, too, with that. Okay, so the, oh, I have, you have to hit. that one as well, so, so I don't yeah. that would be funny. Cool, um, so you hit with the blunt end, you kind of smack him in the face, but it doesn't really do enough damage to actually affect him. Remember, remember you get extra 1d4 to both thumbs, so roll me 2d4. Oh, okay, another 1d4? 2d4. Oh, okay. 2d4. Oh, okay. Two D four. oh, come on, look at the slash. <laughs> you <laughs> stupid. <laughs> So Okay, four and a one. Five, six, seven, eight. Um, I'd say it's not taken down. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah. and then these guys swarm you. Although anyone who can reach Dedrick will try to murder him. Okay. <laughs> Does so, Dedrick get attack of opportunity? Um, no. <laughs> um, so oh, that okay. is... That's like one good one. One D four plus four. One's a critical. Yeah, so. so you have dealt five damage. Uh, plus you are knocked prone. Um, so you, you, you start basically get everything. you basically are grabbed by one ally and then two random things mm -hmm. grab you. <laughs> Not me. Put the uh, does an eighteen hit your AC? It should. Yeah. Yeah. 18, yes. Oh, his. his, his. Yeah. Ragnar. So you take one point damage from that. Potion that gives you three arms. No, no, I haven't. I'm sorry. You know, I three arms would be badass at this moment, um, especially if you had like one-handed weapon. <laughs> that thing tries to attack with a fire and fails. <laughs> and a wolf that tries to attack with a fire with a nineteen. He's like, he's like that um. Ho! Oh, he he. he Udafar, he grabs you by the waist and he throws you this hey, way. John, that What's was, up, buddy? Uh, he rolled, did the rogue roll the 15? He rolled yeah. 15, yeah. Doesn't hit me. Yeah, he's oh, I'm sorry, he's, he's got a plus 4. Oh god. He rolled a 19. Okay. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Is your AC higher than 19? <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, so, and you get thrown to here, and you just, you just like, ah, as you kind of go prone to. I definitely should have left Jar. Wait, <laughs> I'm oh, wait, everything. Have... Oh, my God. Um, Dedrick, you're up. Um, let's see. Which way could I cower away? Abandon it. <laughs> Which way could I abandon my team? <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead. And... Could I? Could I make it? Hold on. Rudifier, what's your HP right now? Eight. <laughs> I'm gonna go rush over there. So I'll go one, two. Um, three. okay, sure. Um. You know how many opportunity attacks you provoke? I'm gonna stay over here. <laughs> are, you, are you sure you wanna stay over there? Got us all killed. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move. Okay, over. cool. One, two. One, two. And then one, two. 
Okay, cool. Now, the funny thing is about not being able to see is that you went one, two, one, two, <laughs> one, two. <laughs> Hilarious. No, no. So, yeah, that was your turn. Uh, what do you do when you get there? You, you start hearing a lot of... Oh, no. What a fire, is that you? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so what spell were you actually going to try to cast under the fire? Or we're going to try to do... You can't do anything. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for the Thorin Hammer then. Uh, who is going to, after these guys are all gone, he's going to, uh, he's going to run this way, and take an attack of opportunity, and he's going to grab onto this guy. He's going to yell, you're going the wrong way, you idiot. He's going to drag you back. But that was his turn, for unfortunately. Uh, Udafar, uh, your back is against the wall, your head hurts tremendously. Your waist is just torn apart. Use any spells you have. He doesn't have a spell, he has a bird. <laughs> Tell your bird to attack. Yep. <laughs> Get the bird to call for help. Last ditch effort, uh, what is that called? Go into concealment, because it is a dark cave, and I am actually not away from the light, so they cannot. Which one call? I'm not close to them. Uh, you're not away from the light, but there's. The problem is the light's on the ground, so it's casting long shadows. So it's casting a long shadow on you, so hiding is okay, very so difficult. One, two... Uh, what's this on the floor? Uh, uh, it's it, a head! It's a head. Do not touch a head! Do not touch it! Head. Do not touch it. Three? Uh... You invoke an attack of opportunity. Four? Head. That's a wall. <laughs> That's a wall? Okay, so... Oh my goodness, what? What's over here, by the way? Uh, you don't know, you no. can't see that far. Don't go there, it's mine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's cool. See. It's a dead hand. I don't care, I'm away We're from light and I'm gonna try to go full concealment in the dark. Sounds great. So you go that way, um... And... Yeah, you get that was only one action, that's all you could take, so you had to stand up too. Uh, so you go that way. Uh, Ragnar. I I full concealment? Um, I'm gonna assume you have concealment. Um, however, yeah. I can't- I can't wait until the next turn, because it's gonna be so funny. Okay. Um, Ragnar, you're up. Um, I attacked the weakest zombie, I believe it's the one I attacked before. Okay, sure. Uh, you should so... attack the strongest, and let the D4 handle that attack if you kill the other one. Well, they're all within range of that, so it will work for anything. Okay. Well, uh, plus four... Oh, oh, oh nice. lord. Okay. Oh lord. D10 plus 2. Okay. <laughs> okay, sweet. Uh, so, which one are you attacking? Any? The, anyone that I can kill? <laughs> okay. That's torn apart. Okay, so would I be able to use the blunt end to attack another one or no? Um, absolutely, but just saying, that happened. Oh, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm fine with yeah. that. Okay, um... Okay, that's an 18. Okay, that's a hit. Three damage. Okay, you give me an extra 1d4. Okay. Because you get the touch. touch. Yeah, he does have the touch. He is... You're playing as you're running around, I'm assuming. <laughs> and he is still within the range. Uh, unfortunately, uh, your, your blunt smack to the face was not enough. Okay, then. Uh, Grievous is going to get the here, get a slash, and it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna oh, decapitate yeah. one of these guys straight up. Uh, the body continues to writhe around, but um, it's undirected, so it's easy to avoid. Now at this point, um, this guy's going to, this guy's gonna go after the fire. Um, oh, wait, 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 what? Yeah, he he saw where you ran, so he's going after you. But fortunately. You're sneaky enough, and it's dark enough that he doesn't see you, but unfortunately you can't see him. Is that fair? Yeah, that's perfectly okay. fine. Okay. Now, when this wolf comes towards you, and you oh. see it starts sniffing... Oh god. He can smell as a zombie? <laughs> he's, he's... Zombies can smell? Why couldn't zombies <laughs> smell? Why else do you think we were so uh, happy that we got rid of that zombie wolf thing before? I don't think zombies smell. They smell terrible. However, I am gonna give him... 
a little bit of disadvantage. So it's gonna be a minus two to his to his roll. Uh, he gets an eighteen. <laughs> That's not better at all. Okay, so uh, he deals five points of damage to you as he starts nine, undirected, just trying to beat at your body. You um, however, over here, um, the few zombies that are left do not hit at all, I believe, Ragnar. I have 16 armor class. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, so you get hit twice. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, wait. 16 from chainmail, plus 2 from shield. You have 18 uh, armor class. Three. You, have eight, you have 8. You have 8. You have You have 18. Oh, yeah, 18. Cool. So, nothing hits. Nothing oh. hits, yeah. <laughs> Which one was like 16? Like, wait a minute. No, you don't. You have more uh, than that. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, Dedrick. Yes. Oh. You're still playing your music, you're being dragged by something. Can I. Okay. Can I head towards, knowing where he dragged me towards, north? Can I just assume that's where he's dragging me to and I just continue heading straight? I uh, sure can, buddy. <laughs> no, fucking those zombies are <laughs> Okay, uh, so you straight for this way and you, you land in the wall and you fall from. Um, give me a constitution saving throw to see if you can maintain your song after being hit in the head that hard. And falling back, <laughs> flying your buff. This should save me a little bit. Yeah, constitution saving throw. Yep, you're oh. fine. Oh, it, it, you guys all hear like a <laughs> um, Thor and Hammer, he feels you let go and he's just gonna go in and try to smash these guys. Uh, yeah. Too much. Um, yeah, and he, he breaks one of these guys in half. Unfortunately, it does turn into one of these things. Yeah. Udo Fire! You you have been chased by this thing, despite <laughs> running away. It appears to have smelled you. Oh my goodness! I hate. I should have just pulled my instinct. Just left you guys. Oh my goodness! Now I die for trying to help you. All right, so I'm gonna go for a desperate attempt. I'm gonna try it since this thing can smell. Apparently, yeah. I'm gonna try to. Uh. Calm it down. Very loudly. <laughs> you're trying to try to animal handling a zombie, <laughs> a zombie warg, which, by the way, okay. is intelligent enough to not be able to be considered an animal. You said is that? that it's it's not intelligent because it's undead, you but it is intelligent because it's a warg. Alright, I'm gonna tell me what you said now. Said that it's not intelligent. Uh, it it isn't or it works, so it's intelligent. However, it's not intelligent because it's a zombie. Does that mean it cancels each other? <laughs> no, it's a <laughs> zombie. Minus is on its intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't animal handling on a zombie. You can't do it on a zombie war. <laughs> Go for it. What do you want to do though? And what is right. this next to me? That's a head. <laughs> it's a severed head. Are you gonna bash its head in with a head? Um, yeah, that looks like, oh my goodness, okay. Oh my goodness, alright. Wait, try to so, the, the skull into its uh, mouth so it can't bite you. I don't know. Oh, good idea. You said that it's, Excellent. okay, let me just gauge its uh, intelligence. It can smell. Yep. So it still can smell. Uh, smell is wisdom. Okay, so an animal handling wouldn't work on it. Uh, no. What if I was trying to handle it in another way? The f what other way would you want to handle it? I take the skull and play fetch. <laughs> I win it as far as I can. Um, <laughs> give, give me a wisdom saving throw. No. Welcome to D and D, people. <laughs> this is what you call desperate. <laughs> So you uh, you reach at the head, oh. you uh, you put it in its mouth as it kind of j j gnaws at you, and you see it kind of it kind of starts trying to rip it away from you before you can even do anything. And as you let go, it basically keeps tearing at it, like it's it like it, it's your arm. So it thinks it's just a, dismembered you, and it's just gonna it's gonna keep ripping. <laughs> run, run. So I'm going to. I'm not in its uh. It's... Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't know you're there at the moment. 
it, it assumes that you're it's you're in its mouth. Okay, it's a one, two, three. Yeah, four, um, you you six. Six. Number. Sorry, guys. You're holding on to the wall, I'm assuming, so you yeah. know that you're going there. Unlike Dedrick, who's just I'm gonna rush. Oh. <laughs> you know. Ragnar, you're up. Um. We want to do with it? Uh, uh, what's it called? Attack again. Oh, good, good idea. Oh, oh, okay. That's a hit. <laughs> now you just gotta do enough damage to murder him. Okay. Do I do a plus four with like? That? Uh, plus twenty four. Oh yeah, plus plus four, plus twenty four. So that's a seven. Okay. Ten. Ten? Yeah, you kill it. Um, but which one are you trying to hit? Either I don't. I am not. Picking. There's, there's three. There's four of them actually, isn't there? Um, yeah, you, you, you take this one down. I, I'm not. Uh. At all. <laughs> Wait a second. Doesn't this? Isn't this one supposed to be turned into that? Yeah. Oh, uh, sure. Thank uh. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking okay. for you guys. I don't want you. Uh, okay. Uh, Grievous is gonna smash. Uh, he's gonna hit. And um, yeah, he's got a touch. He's got the power. Uh. Um, <laughs> I like how we just saw with that. Unfortunately, it doesn't do enough to do anything to it. Uh, the Redead will both attack, one attack Ragnar and one not. Uh, unfortunately, they both miss. Didrick, you're up. Okay, can I follow this wall? Um, <laughs> you're currently you're currently on your butt. Okay, uh, but you 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 grab onto the wall and you're like, thank goodness, maybe I can. Get somewhere with this. Can I direct myself north? Can I just like? You can try. Sure. So you don't even know where north. So where where do you want to go? Anywhere else. Want to go this way. Cool. Just just go ahead and do your movement. Um, yeah. Keep on. I want to. Yeah. Here. And. I guess I keep going. I could keep going that way. Do you want to keep okay, going I'm that way? I'm good here. I'm good here. Can I just uh, get my sword out and attack uh, this zombie right here? Uh, you go can't on. see the zombie right there, but sure, go for it. <laughs> You're no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. just gonna stay in the fence. Cool. Uh, Thor and Hammer's gonna go for it. It's gonna 20. It's gonna destroy <laughs> oh, nice. this thing. Blah. And Udo Fire. I assume you're just gonna keep on keeping on? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. What's inside of here, by the way? I'm gonna. Um, you can't see. Cuts the crates in our way. One, two, three, and then I notice that there are two crates. Because I'm assuming I can keep crates. You, you would notice two crates in there. You would notice yourself tripping over some barrels and stuff like that. I thought there was no lights there. There aren't any lights there, and he can't see, but he does trip over some barrels. Oh, okay. So, um. I am actually going to search in the dark on these barrels for any type of anything I can use. Great, Bowl great. In anything in the computer. Um, so you you just flip you flip a thing over over and you kind of just rip a top off and you shove your hand in to try to find something and then you realize it was a big keg of ale and you you take your hand out it's just soaking wet and you're just like wow that was probably a bad idea. <laughs> or was it? <laughs> well, depend. I suppose if you're a, 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 an arm half not covered in ale person, then yes, right, it wasn't so a mistake. I think this is a kill full of uh, a cake full of ale, right? Yeah, essentially. Okay. Um, is your turn, Wagner? Oh uh, wait, wait, wait! I wasn't kale gonna... full of ale. Are you sure? Because you just did an yeah. action and a movement. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to ask a question. How big is the cake? Oh, um, the keg. It would be. If you sling on your, if you could sling on your back, essentially as a um, as a replacement for your backpack. Okay. Uh, but plus, it's, it's but it's pretty big. Um, Ragnar attempts it's a to attack. That six. I forgot to put okay. Uh, you also have advantage because it's on the ground. Okay. So roll d10. <laughs> okay. Is that enough to kill it? Ah, uh, yeah, it is. Okay. Um, Dedrick. Dedrick stops playing. Um. As you all, and, and you hear Dedrick stop playing with the fire. Oh, thank goodness. 
<laughs> oh god, we did it. Well, I still think we gotta kill the 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 ward. I mean the ward. No, don't, uh, stop talking. Stop talking. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, these ones say, "Let's off. let's get the hell out of here." I agree. And they start they start shuffling this wait, way. Wait, what about the people that came with us? We should at least take them through while we have the chance. Uh, you see Grievous kind of look sad. Actually, you you, you, you hear him kind of sigh, and then you hear Grimax say, F him. Let's keep going. Can I... Uh, can I persuade you two pieces of silver each? How many? Ten. Ten? Each. Um, they say it's not worth it. It's not worth our lives. They keep moving. Ragnar. Yes? Could you... Wait, 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 wait. I call them back and I'd be like, can I at least have your flint and steel so I can at least have a torch? <laughs> you don't hear a response. Dang it. Ragnar, we gotta go back to those people. The Paul likes to wait. Wait. What did happen to those people? Are they still outside waiting for uh, us to it, cave, it's, a, it's at this point we realize you're talking to a corpse and you turn around and, and there's Ragnar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You know what? We should just probably follow them. I mean, I'm pretty sure that people that ran away, ran away. Udafi, I yell to Udafi, do you want to come with us? Um, I do not say anything. I just stay near my creek. Uh, you assume that uh, Udafi did his classic coward, the cowardice move, and just ran away from you guys. Oh, okay. So then, yeah, yeah. we follow the other dwarves. Cool. I, 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 I hold Ragnar. <laughs> No. Okay. Okay. Uh, what do you want? What do you want to do with fire? We want to do with fire. Um. He puts himself to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to make my way out of this cave. Which direction? This uh, zombie wolf is still alive. Which direction you want to go? Uh, the direction Thank I was following the wall. So this, this way. Cool. Three, four, two, go up the red trail. Yeah. yeah we're, we're 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 off. Um. Yeah. We're off thing, and you get back here. You kind of take like a cool breath of fresh air, and you just like your your head spinning, you're bleeding everywhere. And you're just like this has not been a good day. And then you look you look back at the path you just came out of. And you just like you see that long winding road, and you just kind of sigh. Here you go. You got the touch. I'm just saying right here. Um, you just gonna sit there. Uh, for a bit, yeah. To I have like three help from bleeding yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you're just gonna rest up essentially, and yeah. uh, Dedrick and this is, that would be about an hour of you resting up out there. Uh, Dedrick and Ra Ragnar, you guys okay. travel this way. Okay. You guys almost got me killed and said, "Let's yeah. keep on going." Yeah. Uh, you get to there. You you smell fresh air. Oh, thank God. You're taking a deep oh, breath. And you think and uh, Ragnar says, "Thank, thank Paylor and." You guys, you guys stop. You, 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 you know, they basically start leading you along the path. Okay. No. Um, so I'm going to go back to the first guys. You've got your two hours. And now they're going to get their last I just, hour. I presume this is like the end of today's session then for us? Um, I'd say essentially, but you can stick around if you like. Okay, it's just because I also have my uh, another group of friends there who also play D&D, &D, so. Okay. <laughs> Doubling up. <laughs> But yeah, um, this was great. Yeah. <laughs> you potentially get RP dice for somehow surviving. Um, that was quite difficult. Um, I'm gonna say you guys handled it quite poorly. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would say extremely poorly, ex especially with the whole playing the music thing. Um, <laughs> Boy, hilariously. Yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm gonna award you no RP dice now. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just. Were you expecting us to die there? Um, no. I was expecting uh, either you guys to sneak through or to create some sort of barricade of human bodies and just slaughter them as they come through. I didn't expect <laughs> you to run in there, get separated, and then... And fight our way out. Yeah, and, try and fight your way out, yeah. Yeah, that was horrible. I... Yeah. I especially didn't expect Sha to get ripped in, <laughs> ripped in half by a wolf and then just try to sneak away. Yeah. And I should and definitely. His, his coccyx is shattered. Um, he, he did. He did divert like the two major bosses. And I want to say, 
in that fight, I bet those two dwarves are like, man, these guys must be good. That, I seriously Probably doubt not. that. Um, so, you see Ruben, Vic, and Norian. Oh, no, no, no problem, buddy. Thanks for playing. You. Jeez, you did well. Hey, buddy. Despite your allies and confidence. <laughs> um, It'll be better next time. Let's, let's go for a, like a pre-battle music. Because we know these guys are getting ready to do some junk. Ruben, Vic, and Norin, ready to set up their plan. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, <laughs> like we said, <laughs> two hours ago. We're gonna, yeah, I know. We're gonna open the door. Vic is gonna go yell in a. Yeah, it's gonna be about there. So. In in goblin, and uh, Norian's just gonna take a pot shot at the uh, at the archer, wasn't it? Yeah, I was gonna ready my. Longbow to shoot at the uh, well, not necessarily the archer, the one who's further away. Okay, cool. I don't know. So, okay. Good. so uh, um, basically, if any, whichever door opens. Sure. I'm gonna say you guys can. You guys can actually. You can just do your actions. Go for it. So who does what first? Uh, Vic opens the door. I think. Okay. I I'd, I'd say can I like. Yeah, okay. Or actually, uh, says whatever in Goblin. You go. So Vic yells out what in Goblin? Vic yells out what in Goblin? Vic? Is it here? I don't... Hello? There we go. Black Despair, your name's Vic. Black Despair. People clearly don't know their own names. <sighs> you there, Black? Uh, just woke up from a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sounds like it. Vic. Okay, so we we need you, Black. Black, hello. Yes, sir. <laughs> Do you guys know what he's doing? Do you want to just say what he does? Yeah, well, he like wasn't it like. Uh... Yeah, he was gonna say something other than like uh, something happened with the words, and yeah, just like yeah, yeah. so he he yells out, you know, hey, there's there's wargs, guys, in uh, in a goblin kind of tongue. Yeah, mm -hmm. that happens. Yeah. What what do you what do you two do? We are oh. waiting for one of the guys that was at the door over here to come open. Hmm. So like we we knock on the door first and then have yeah Vic. so that uh, when they no, open they the door Ruben it. hits him in the head and I just cool cool uh, you you, the to the other guy. you don't see anyone open the door you hear you hear something someone shouts something out in Goblin uh Vic kind of whispers to you he see whispers to you he's, he he said he said who's there uh what's a common Goblin name. <laughs> um, give me a bardic knowledge check. I don't have bardic knowledge. Ruben, yeah, that's right, that's right, you're not, um, so, give me a history check. That I do have. Yeah. History check is wisdom or int. Yeah. See if you know any famous goblins that have common names. Is that, is that wisdom? Uh, intelligence. Intelligence. Okay, just start double checking here. Okay. Uh, does proficiency yes add two is two just two right? Okay, that's fine. Ha ba ba. Uh, you once heard the tale of um of Squee, the immortal, a goblin who apparently couldn't die. Okay, I, I, I suppose. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Say 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 Squee. Okay, uh, Vic, Vic kind of says in his goblin, goblinish voice, Squee? And uh, you, you, you hear a long pause, and then uh, they, you hear another shout that was from the inside again. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, uh, get Vic to go, what? <laughs> what as well? It, yeah, it could Vic just say, like, uh, you know, 
Something happened with I the words again. I'm well. fast. Uh, you know, yeah. it, it, Vic says, uh, you hear another, and the Vic says, they, they're saying, hold on. Uh, you see one of them open up this door, kind of look out, and they say, what? Um, unfortunately, the, the door is now in front of Ruben. Uh, so he comes out here. Uh, what do you do there, Norm? What do I do? Yeah. Uh, do I see the other uh, goblin? Uh, you do not. I do not. Door. Cool. Uh, there is no way for Ruben to attack? Uh, Ruben's got a door in his face. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um... Can, can I uh, can I use the door and smack the goblin in the face? Oh, uh, you can try. Can push the door. And I can't guarantee you'll do enough to hurt him. But like enough to knock him prone or something. Maybe. So I need a plan here, people. Norin, what do you want to do? Yeah. Um. I guess I'll just hit this guy with my. Uh, you currently have your bow ready. Oh, um, yeah. Changing um, that, changing a plan like that is gonna completely. You, you have to take your bow out, or your your mace out, or whatever weapons you're using. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just shoot this guy with a bow. Um, okay, point blank, you're gonna have disadvantage. Uh, give me a roll. All right, can I move away first in that case? Um, you didn't plan on that. You were ready to be able to shoot that guy. So your chan plan changing so drastically is going to cause you issues. Like okay, I'll, I'll roll for the uh, longbow. Let's go. That's one. And uh, that's the other. Um, a nine. Unfortunately, uh, you do manage to you manage to hit his armor, but it goes right through the, the sleeve if it goes to the other end. Um, yep. So let's roll the shift. Nice. Um, if Vic was here, I'd tell him that he gets a plus five for his cape, but he's not. Where is Vic? Hey. I don't know. I don't know, he made some sort of noise before. <laughs> yeah, I saw Mike doing stuff. Must be a... AFK or something. Um, he, who's AFK? Uh, Neil. Uh, Neil. Or Vic. Oh. Does he do that? Is that, something, is that something he does? No, I don't know. Well, if you ever could use him, it would be now. Uh, do you want guys want me to play the role then? Until he uh. gets back, or let me try to call him. Let me see. One sec. Mm hmm. Yeah, game's gone so pretty well so far. I, I expect you guys to go a lot farther though. Note that. <laughs> I expect you to get more done in the time. <laughs> and not blindly run in case. That was fantastic. That was hilarious. Uh, and that's the leader, by the way. That's the guy who self-proclaimed leader of the every guild. He's like, all right. Are we? Uh... I'm just gonna run. What's that? I have really, really good plan for the area that you guys are in. Somehow, I, oh, that's cool. Well, when you, if you ever find them, <laughs> and then whenever, or whenever they find us, I do. Maybe depends on how close oh, you guys are. Um, at this point, it's kind of like they're gonna have to like meet up with Udo Fire. Cause he's the only one that's like. Back in yeah, the well, path. maybe, but um, getting away. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have recognized that time in my game is extremely relative. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's there. That's he's weird. Still technically, he's still connected with us, but yeah, yeah he's still here. Uh, I'll, I'll play him. It's fine. Um, Fix says I'm a big old dummy. I don't know what to do. Uh 
Uh, okay, he gets a 23. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Norin, what'd you get? Uh, okay. So can I switch weapons now? Uh, it's not, it's not your turn yet. You have to do an initiative check. See how fast you're right. to, to what, sorry? Initiative? Oh, the, uh... Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, there we go. Seven! <laughs> Such a <laughs> high nine. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Vic. I but, assume uh, he, would, he would probably do some sort of spell. So he'd do a chilling grass spell on this guy. Um, so that guy is going to... He would, it would be an actual attack, I believe. Uh, plus five. Nineteen. This guy gets dealt one day damage. Uh, he gets a frost bolt of four damage on him. Brr, he says. Uh, Ruben, what do you do? Cool. Ruben uh, steps fr like to the side here. Cool. Uh, I don't obviously provoke attack, provoke opportunity. No, there's a door in the way. No. You know, I appeared. Of course. Um, there's a door still. No. The door's right there. It's it's that line right here. Yeah, but uh, am I able to attack him? You can hit him. From here? Yeah, you can hit him. Yep, I attacked with my mace. Sounds good. Because I kind of had it like had it ready anyway. But yeah, I imagine. Uh, 14 is going to hit. Nice. And cut off. 7 damage, nice. Uh, you, you just take your mace, you swing it from in a, in a horizontal uh, motion, and it just it basically replaces his head on the top of his head. It replaces his neck as it kind of, and you kind of just drag it backwards behind you and to release it. He gets to go up there. Uh, so yeah, so he's gone. I call for Norian to no. just like look at shit. <laughs> um, yeah, that's when you hear um, something from inside yell, We're under attack! In Goblin. Uh, Vic yells that they said they're under attack. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. And uh, you can see it move one. You can see it move one, two, and you see it opens the door and gets on the other side. And that happens. Um, so what do you do there, Norian? Well, damn. Um, I estimated around eight goblins at least. One's down, so there should be a minimum of seven, I think. Um. Let me think. Uh, you think, guys, we should go in and uh, try to get in there, or just wait for them outside or something? Um, thing is, if we go in here, like you said, there's gonna be one, gob like three goblins here. Uh, Are you, you guys? Here. If if you're gonna, if you're going to be having this kind of conversation, it's going to take longer than a that turn. Oh, like that turn. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. Um. So just a quick. So yeah. So you guys got a good thirty seconds. Okay. Let's put this way. Should I go in or not? Yeah, I'd say I'd say just like just go, in, just go in. Okay. That's uh one two, and I think I should be able to see inside by now. Oh, yeah, of course. See this. One two. Uh, I see uh, three doors. These are double doors up here. Okay. Um. Maybe go here for... because these ones are like the least threatening. <laughs> now, do you guys remember your goal? I just want to make sure you know. Yeah, just save a blonde girl. <laughs> That's right. Uh, why are you particularly here? Uh, because we thought there was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, there's a lead. Because there was some a particular goblin um, that said he kidnapped someone, right? That's that's about right. So, uh, was, was what's your, what's, or? yeah, it was, it was a goblin, so what's your plan to do with him? Uh, guess we'll have to kick some ass and take the girl back, if she's here. Yeah. And if she's not here, then how will you find her? Uh, yes. we're gonna torture Questions. the guy and see, um, be good. find any information? Sounds good. So I'm just, I'm just making sure you guys have a plan before you just cut everything's head off and go, well, I guess we're boned. <laughs> you know, we probably shouldn't have killed everything. Um, so yeah, sounds good. Um, so, yep, yeah, you guys, you, you think you think you think you know what you're doing? So go ahead, Norian. Big turn. Uh, yeah, you made a two, three, four, I guess. Um, 
Five, the, the other guy went uh, through this door, right? Yeah, he went through one of those doors. Uh, they appear closed. They closed behind them. Okay, four, five, six. W would this door open uh, only this square? So I'd be open there too. It's uh, do you want to try to open it? I'm not so sure, to be honest. No, let's just uh, stay over there. And I cool. prepare my um, uh, duels for it. Cool. So you, you basically get into a fighting stance, just ready to... Uh, and exactly where do you want to attack? If somebody gets here, or if somebody gets here, you're basically charging yourself up the swing uh, in one particular position. This okay, one right there? Yeah, cool. and... Um, okay, yeah, that, that, that's about it. Uh, Vic walks in, he takes like a crane stance. Uh, Ruben. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I kind of, uh, sorry, I walk to sort of behind Moy and, uh, and, uh, you with your yeah, and just sort of ready a mace. Cool. Is Is Neil trying to speak? Because sometimes I see his picture pop up. And I, I assume yeah. he's away from his mic, and uh, that's just background noise. Oh, uh, right. If, if he was around, he'd type something after we ignore him for this long. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yep, so my turn. Uh, yeah, so I just kind of like uh, come over here, I guess. So covering, covering this bit here, and then this this door as well. And I've just got like my mace ready for a reaction. Sounds good. Okay, Nora. Seems nothing happened. Okay, um, I'll... I, yeah. Should I? Should I? Like signal to, I kind of signal to Nori. It's like maybe we should go inside. There's nothing. Like, no one's run out yet. If and if we go inside here, maybe we might encounter just the, this sleeping goblin or, or whatever. Over here, or the Victor. Uh, I guess if we go over here, they wouldn't. They think we would have just run off. Yeah, we, we can go through the big door. The archer went there, yeah, okay. they probably announced yeah. everything. I'll just uh, come over here and open this door. This door here? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, the door goes away from you. Uh, how do you want to open it? I'll, uh, like, you, you can just kind of swing it open, you can like kick it open if you want. I'll kick it open. Cool. Give me a strength check, then. Uh, sure. Um... Cool. Uh, you kick it open hardcore style, um, and lucky for you, there's a guy right in front. He gets knocked back and goes prone. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say that was part of your movement. You can keep doing stuff. Awesome. In that case, I'll come over here. Cool. And I'm gonna actually want you. If I keep moving, it does does it provoke an opportunity attack? No. Oh, if you, if you, uh, with him being on the ground, no, he's not. And you can move over him if you want. Yeah. I let you move. Oh, yeah. sorry. Over that way. Cool. And I'll attack him with my swords. Sounds good. Uh, you have uh, advantage on each attack because he's on the ground. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Um, in that case, oh, it's um. The first one uh, actually cancels the disadvantage for the back one. Yeah, exactly. So it's plus uh, five. Nice. So Twelve. Um, your your first attack uh, as you kind of drop it down. Twelve is your your weak hand or your yeah. your buckler hand. As you stab down on him, he grabs his two uh, daggers and he creates a, an X, and uh, he basically counters out your attack. Okay. So, he so it misses. Advantage? He doesn't. He doesn't advantage, but he has disadvantage because he's also using a buckler on the hand. 
Oh, right, so it just cancels out, right? Exactly. So I'm gonna roll 2d20 plus 5 for the second hand. Oh, That's yeah. a nice. 17, actually. Okay, uh, 17 is gonna hit. Give me some damage. Okay. That's a. Uh... The eight plus three. Oh, cool. yeah, you're so. Uh, you basically you take your sword that he's counting out. You drag it backwards so his hands are basically over his um over his head, and with the other one you just kind of stab it into the ground, and uh, you can see his head just kind of roll away. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. He gives out a little scream though as it happens. Uh, this guy over here just seems to be looking in the opposite direction, just having a great time. <laughs> well, there's a guy who was in the corner, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, I should be revealing this. There's another door here. Oh, okay. Uh, now I'm done, by the way. Cool. Um, uh, uh, what do you want to do, Ruben? Oh, well, uh, it's not Vic's turn yet. Um, Vic would come in here and be like, hey, what's going on, guys? I'm gonna play with my goblin. Oh, hey, goblin. Remember me? I'm the guy who told you to do stuff. Uh, he's just gonna slit this guy's throat. Cool. Blah. Um, I go inside uh, where Norian is and, kind of, and shut the door behind him. Cool. And then... Uh, I tell him, uh, I, I, I look, is there a keyhole in, in the door? On uh, that door? Uh, yeah. no. No keyhole. Um, which way does it open? Uh, swings towards you. Towards me. Uh, I slowly pull on it and kind of peek. Yeah. Uh, you basically grab the handle and you, you, you twist it and then you feel it twist back. Oh, I said, and then like as a reaction, I, I will uh, kind of take a step back and be like, Orion, there's some people in over there, and I get my mates ready. Okay. Uh, I guess it's my turn. Um. All right, I'll but come here and open the door. There's a yeah. door. There's a door open as I. As I uh, try to twist it, um, who's trying to just twist it? Because, like, you know how I, I tried to open the door earlier. Yeah, yeah you, and you, I, you, I feel it twist back. Yeah, you, you felt the twist, twist back, as if it was something twisting it back. Yeah, so I, I let go. Yeah, we let go. It, 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 when you, when you let go, it, it just stays where it is. Okay. Um. Okay, so I said there might be somebody over there, or. Or something, I don't know. Okay. Uh, we have to keep going anyway. Uh, they already know we're here, so... Mm -hmm. I'll just uh, open the door. Or, you know, yeah. try to force uh, it open. Give me a strength check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> uh, you, you start twisting at the handle, but you just... Your, your hand's too much covered in blood. And uh, as you know, you, you basically you, 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 you basically kind of grab the handle and realize you're still holding your sword, and that was your turn. <laughs> and you're like, oh, All silly right. me. Um, so yeah, Vic is just like, you see this goblin I just killed? I'm going to rummage through this trash. Uh, Ruben, back to you. Um, well, since uh, Norian didn't open the door, I'm just like, yeah, I, I might as well open it as well. Um, yeah, maybe you can uh, try opening it from here. So yeah. Hit me or something. Sure. Uh, I, I try and open the door. Do I have to? Give, give me a strength check. Give me a strength check. Oh my god. The no, you can't either. <laughs> I said okay. We're that's doing good. Ah, that's you. Yeah. You, 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 you both are grabbing at this handle, trying to twist it, but um, something on the other side just keeps twisting it back. Uh, Norian. Okay. <laughs> I'm well, wondering if we, if we should go the other way. 
Um, okay, I try again. Cool, we roll. Let's give it a try. Um, you manage to twist it completely and you start pulling back, and then you feel it, something on the other side pull back and close it shut again. Ah, damn. Uh, Ruben. <laughs> okay, so that's not gonna work. I say, I tell him. Uh, if we go all the way around, other than going through here, seeing is a this is just a waste of time. I tell, I tell, this is just a waste of time. We're good, but then they're gonna come against us. Yeah. So I, I come through here and I open the door. Cool. Uh, you come through there and you see two things. Uh, first of all, you see some goblins peeking through this door over here, and you see a goblin peeking through this door up here. Oof. I say Norian. <laughs> um, do I have any actions? Uh, yeah, obviously, obviously you have most of your actions. Cool. Um, seeing the... How long do I need uh, to do my brain hands? Is it... It's not instanting, is it? What's the question? If I if I want to try and stand up, as I open the door, it's kind of go. Sorry. It's really it's hard to hear you, buddy. Yeah. Can you hear me? Not very well. I think that's good. Hello. I can I can hear you, but I just yeah. it's kind of muffled. Oh, sorry. I was asking if I, if I open the door and use burning hands, is that like an immediate act? No, it's tiny. Um, I'll, I'll allow you to open the door and use burning hands. Yeah, I will try. Sure, give me, a, give me a roll. That direction. This is flames. Sure. I guess they have to roll against you, don't they? Um, so, how far do you get? You get 15 feet? How big of a cone is it? Um, it's an inch. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a 50 foot cone. So that's the. Uh, yeah, so it'll hit one person essentially. Ruben? Yeah. It'll hit one person. Do you want to hit only one person? Uh, there you go. Yeah, I guess the way over here. Can I can I afford? Yeah, of course. Can I move forward? Yeah. Go ahead and move forward. So that's just sort of what will take. Are you really, really cutting it? Sorry. No problem. Good call. Yeah, something wrong with the connections here. Ah, uh, so what'd you see when I did them there, um. Ruben? Yeah, he's disconnected. Oof. Yeah, hello. And, hey. But why did you tell me that? Did you leave the call? Yeah, I did. Go. Go. Oh, you had to go? Yeah, other D&D group. Okay. Um, oh, I thought that was Shaw. Or, 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 oh, no, that, I'm sorry. Uh, I, had to, I disconnected from everybody and um, reconnected because there's something wrong with the thing. Okay. Yeah, it was just because... Trying to call the group back, sorry, buddy.
You tell him, David. What's going on? Okay, um, so you do 3d6 damage? I doubt it. Ah, uh, so yeah, you, you incinerate, um, it looks like you incinerate about, uh, three of them. The last one closes the door quickly enough to get away. Ralphie, did you, did you hear that? Anyone here? Nick? I, yeah, Nick and Nick. David's here. I'll ask if you can hear me. So what happened? Cold drop? How was that? Did cold drop? Um. What's going on? Uh, I called. Was it you, uh, John? Yeah, I called. I'm trying to call. Oh, he's uh, here, here in the fire. Little... Weird shit, um... Right, you guys just want to start... It's already pretty late. You guys want to just start again? Next again? Next Thursday? It's already four hours in. Whatever you want. Yeah, I'll just call it today.